Hello and welcome back to SLR F1. We're back again on a Friday night. It is the start of the F1 races, F1 rounds for this weekend. We're here for round five. So it's going pretty quickly actually, it has to be said this season. On to round five already here at the Netherlands at uh, the Zandvoort circuit. This is going to be the first the debut running of this track here for the F1 cars side of things in SLR. Uh, and yeah, so it's going to be uh, interesting to see how the drivers are able to tackle this track being pretty technical and tight. It reminds me quite a bit of Hungary, if, if not even slightly faster than the Hungary circuit. Um, but before we sort of describe the track anymore, um, I'll introduce myself. I'm Ham, and uh, this week I am joined by Jam. So Jam's back this week. Um, once again, thanks to Midzi for stepping in last week. Thought he did an excellent job, it has to be said. Uh, but having said that, it's good to have Jam back. So good evening to you, mate. Yeah, good evening. Uh, good evening to everyone watching as well. Great to be back, although unfortunately... It's going to be rather short-lived, but yeah, I mean, in the present right now, great to be back. Looking forward to, to another good race, as they, as they all have been so far this season in, um, in Division 1. Yes, we've got cars going out already, Jam. I think it's because we've been informed, actually, it's going to be dry to wet. Now, I don't know whether that's for the race, uh, so going from dry and quality to wet in the race, or whether it's going to be dry to wet throughout this quality session. Uh, Jitto is already out on track, though, so we'll uh, just follow him around whilst he's on his outlap. Um, so, yes, as you mentioned, Jam, um, we're going to be hopefully in for another pretty good race tonight. Championships kind of tightening up a little bit, um, which is obviously good to see. Ranga's still leading the way, but McEwen's caught up a bit, as is Clock. So, um, it'll be, yeah, it's really good to see. Obviously, we're getting a bit of a championship fight emerging already. Of course, we'll just briefly look back to China. Last time out, we had Kevin taking his maiden win in SLR. He was followed home by, if I can remember, a race roller, I believe, who was reserving for the Renault team and SLR McEwen. In terms of reserves tonight, it's just Race Roller again, but he's in the Alfa Romeo this week, taking the face of SLR Guna. Everyone else is a full-time driver. And here we go then. We'll go on board with Jitto. First ever lap in an F1 car of this circuit. I believe it's dry and quality, Harry, and then rain about 20 minutes into the race. So I should think we'll see quite a lot of the drivers running slightly modified setups to uh, accommodate for that rain later on in the race. Although... Having said that, it is extremely hard to pass around here, so maybe going for the full dry setup might not be a bad thing. Getting that trap position, qualifying, and then pulling out as much as you can in that first 20 minutes. Yeah, and of course, the other thing with the, uh, as you mentioned, so hard to pass around here, it does also mean that qualifying is, well, it's a pretty critical round this track, as uh, it was, well, demonstrated, you know, all right there on Jitto's lap. The tight track, narrow track, it does mean that you may be prone to a block, although having said that, the two drivers that he came across, uh, check this out, and Eslam McEwen, they got out of the way tremendously, it has to be said, which was perhaps not something that we saw so much last week at China. Um, but nevertheless, um, I think drivers will have to be, uh, well, very aware to make sure that they don't block each other as uh, Jitta just had a bit of a uh, oversteery moment there, but he just crossed the line, 1 minute 9.7. See if anyone else is just finishing their lap. JH, uh, Morgan, sorry, just crossed the line in the Mercedes. One minute, 9.2. We'll uh, quickly flip over to McEwen, who's on a pretty nice run at the moment, Jam. It has to be said, podium last time out in China. That was followed, or that was um, previously, uh, well, previously he got a podium in Vietnam. That's what I'm trying to say. As oh, Monkey has crashed. crashed already. So there we go. Wow. First retirement of this quality session. Whoa, and he's lost it there. Tight, uh, tight. Fast right-hander there, sorry. Of turn six, seven, six, seven, something like that. Uh, and he's lost it through there. And that is, uh, well, that's uh, very unfortunate for the Alfa Romeo driver. It doesn't look like he's going to be taking any further part in this qualifying session. That will ease the pressure off some of these drivers, though. Those that maybe were slightly worrying about their pace maybe won't have to be quite 
as worried now, given that there's one less car that can beat them in this session. We're on board with McEwen at the moment. He was purple through the middle sector. Going around this beautiful banked final corner. I have to admit, it is a very nice corner. One of my favourites, certainly on this track, if not really on the calendar. Crosses the line, 1 minute 9.4. It's a very difficult corner though, that banked corner, especially in the wet, but also just normally. I mean, if you're following behind someone, getting that understeer, um, it's not great. Let's check this out, it's left the session, and unfortunately, I don't think he'll be able to get an invite back. Not until the end of Q3. Kevin goes fastest though, Jam, 1 minute 9.4. Um, just while I've been speaking, is, is there anything really that you've you've noticed of, of note? Um, yeah, I saw oh, clock. Actually, sorry, Jam. It's come um, one. Someone's lost a bit of their wing. Um, okay. Ke I was just went on board with Kevin, and he had someone's front wing attached to his car. It, it might um, be it's clock. Not Kevin's, I saw him but, off at yeah, time one, and he's back in the pits ah, now. Okay. Yeah, that was probably right. Oh, Tuman's also lost his whole front wing. Uh, so I don't know if he's had a bit of a bit of a moment there but uh yeah he he's got no front wing so the racing point driver there not getting off to the best of starts this weekend as liam has also left the session so i wonder if we're having some troubles i wonder if we're gonna have to get the lobby restarted i'm not too sure check got back in which is interesting seeing as we weren't supposed to invite people and i certainly haven't invited anyone yeah Right then, um, what we got? Zambor, yes. Um, any sort of thoughts on the track, Jam? Um, I don't mind the track myself, as we see another driver, unfortunately, disconnecting. Um, yeah, I don't mind the track. Um, possibly not too keen on, it seemingly there's quite a big onus on qualifying, which I don't think is always the best thing. It doesn't, it's not exactly going to be the best track to promote overtaking and racing mm. in my opinion that is anyway but in terms of the actual like layout and the pace of it i, I really i really like it you know fast te uh, technical circuit a uh, bit of an old school track as well obviously it's not been on the calendar since the mid 80s so it's as it's, it's well good to see a new track um, and a returning mm. track at that um yeah well to be honest i, I really like it I, although i said from the start uh, when i first did it really it was Seeming like it'll be a bit of a qualifying track just because it, it's so narrow, it's so fast, so you're going to get that dirty air, it's going to be hard to overtake. But but no, I've actually really enjoyed driving it, and I think it's, it's one of those tracks like Hungary, like Monaco, where if you can set a max out of your car, then it's, it just flows perfectly, I think, to be honest. Yeah. We're just on board with Ranga in the Red Bull. Championship leader, of course, as we do like to mention, but I'm sure he doesn't mind, especially while he's there. You never know. He could be here 20 and well, 22 in you know 16, 17 weeks time. Come Abu Dhabi, it would uh, well I certainly certainly wouldn't be uh, against that myself, as he's just on a lap now. He's uh, just going through the middle sector here, onto this short little back straight, the uh, second DRS straight round the track, into this tight chicane here. Rotates the car pretty nicely, runs slightly out onto the curb on the exit. That might have just scrubbed off a little bit of that exit speed, but here we go then through the final couple of corners taking a bit of curb on entry but overall pretty nice line coming up to the line what's it gonna be it's a 9.6 puts himself p3 i think that's the other thing as well like we noticed um at vietnam or like we had at vietnam uh, we're not gonna be too well versed on the cutoff just considering this is actually well the first time these drivers have driven this track in a competitive league race, so we don't really know. You know, some may have done more practice than others. Some may be a bit, you know, better suited to this track than others. So that I think uh, in terms of like cut off, and there may be a bit more of a split in terms of pace than what we normally see. But at the moment, having said that, we've got um, well, we've got the top eleven all within a second of each other. So it's not bad as far as. Uh, yeah, as far as times are concerned, as a SLR... No, who just went? P4, Riggsy. Riggsy, Riggsy mate. P4. Yeah, good lap. Yeah, good lap from him in the McLaren after obviously struggling uh, in quality last week and then, uh, well, having that having that block on his final run, which definitely wasn't ideal for him. Uh, um, but to be fair to Riggsy, uh, he was a stand-up performer for me last week. He uh, had a very solid drive. He managed to get himself 
back up into the points but then uh, just at the end got caught up by a few guys on uh, the alternate strategy and ended up P11 but still not a bad recovery from Rigti. As well another person's highlight obviously Kevin taking his maiden win in SLR. Um, <laughs> I don't think he minded saying too much that it was, um, well it was definitely coming uh, after obviously his uh, misfortunes at Vietnam and Australia. And um, who we got then? Who else had a good race last week? I think most people had a good race last week, to be fair. Um, Predators as well, actually. We'll highlight Predators. First time out of Q3 for... Uh, Q1, sorry. For a very long time. And he made it all the way to Q3. So, uh, yeah, good result from Predators. I believe he still managed to finish in the points despite having a bit of a run-in with Ranga. But, um, you know, we won't, we won't dwell on that too much. Um, have we got someone on a lap? There we go. Yeah, JH. Here we go. JH is starting a lap. So then... In fact, Champ, that's uh, also something to mention. Both Mercedes drivers have shown some very strong pace this season, but perhaps not quite having the results to show it. Do you think that's just, you know, it's going to come eventually, or, or do you think there's uh, something a bit more to it than that? Um, no, I think JH is one of, one of those drivers that just seems to be in a, in a bit of a rough patch at the moment, just not quite getting the run at the, uh, the, run of the green, run of the green. <laughs> one of those. Not quite getting uh, much luck, because, yeah, he's made a bit of a mistake there, that's going to compromise his lap. But, no, I think he's, he's, he's got a lot of potential, to be honest. Obviously, he was, in, he was in the top division last season, in season four, so he's obviously, he's obviously a very quick driver, so it'll, it'll be one that I think bit more bit more time on the game getting further into the season i think we'll be starting to see him further up there seven minutes left actually already so this session's going pretty quickly as it sounds we've got three drivers yet to set a lap and of course monkey who has crashed and so we've got yellow flags again sorry i've just been slightly <gasps> slightly put off by the uh, yellow flags throughout the track but I think that's more just a visual glitch. I think it's for Ranga retiring in the pits. Ah okay well oh, so yeah Ranga I missed that. Ranga's retired in the pits then so he's obviously uh, pretty confident that he should be through with that one minute 9.6. As it stands I think he's looking pretty good uh, as we mentioned only a few minutes ago not too sure very what the cut off's going to be but yeah it's very close to the top and uh, Rang has got, you know, a good six tenths, six, uh, actually eight tenths to his teammate who's in P15 as Che is just running a bit wide there. I don't know whether he's on another lap or not. Looks like he might be, actually. He's got the ERS up and he does seem to be pushing. But he's six tenths down. Who else have we got on a lap? Was just out, just oh, yeah, I was literally just going to go to him, but there we go. He's <laughs> beaten us to it. So he's heading across the line going P9. 1 minute 9.8 for him. I'm on board with Division then. He's currently down in 16th on a 10.4. He's had a pretty solid start to the season, Division. A couple of points scoring finishes, so not too bad overall for him. He's been a pretty good, um, well, you know, I wouldn't say second driver, but he's definitely complemented Ranga pretty well as uh, I believe Red Buller, you know, up there, there or thereabouts in the Constructors. I'm sure Division will be uh, looking to kick on. He's had some, you know, pretty good races. Obviously, Australia comes to mind. He was uh, definitely quick in qualifying around Australia. I can't exactly remember where he finished in the race, if he did finish. Uh, but I'm sure, again, it's so competitive in this division that really, on any given any given track, on any given week, you know, we can we could see a completely different top 10 to what we've had the week before. Mm -hmm. but here we go then. Division crossed the line, 1 minute 9.9. Five tenths, near enough improvement. Goes P11. And it's pretty close. As you mentioned, Jam, six tenths cover the top 12. Yeah, I think it just sort of highlights the, this track perfectly. I think, to be honest, it's so short, it's so fast. It's going to be really bunched up. It's going to be really close together. And obviously, with the drivers not having much prior experience around here, interesting that Ranga sort of retired so early, but I'm, I'm obviously... Sure, he's very confident on that 9-6 that will get him through, and it is, as you mm. say, looking looking good at the moment. But yeah, just looking at it now, 2 minutes 12 on a 9-9. If, uh, if he shared two tenths off his lap, he'd be going up uh, three or four positions, so it's, it's very close so in that midfield pack. Um, yeah, just one more thing to note as well. Obviously, we've got the two guys at the bottom not saying laps, and I'm not sure if they can be invited back in now, so... 
I believe there's only going to be another two leaving the session, so that's going to help some people and also affect others, unfortunately, but that's just the, uh, the way it goes, unfortunately. And um, in fact, John, the two drivers currently occupying these bottom two positions are Predators and Race Roller, who in fact are very close to each other on track. Predators on an outlap, like Race Roller on a flying lap, and uh, looks like... Oh, or maybe they're not. I don't know quite what process is doing, but there we go. Race all across the line goes P9 on a 1 minute 9.8. And in fact, he was another driver to highlight from last week. It was his SLR debut. He was reserving for the Renault team. He just got himself a P2 on debut. So, yeah, very strong showing from Race Roll. And I'm sure we'll be looking to carry that momentum through to this week. Yeah, he's starting off on the right foot, getting through by the looks of things to Q2. Although, you know, I don't want to speak too early, but you know he's in P9 at the moment on a pretty strong lap time with a 9.8. So uh, as a neutral, it'd be nice to see him getting through. His jib jab puts himself P3 in the other Ferrari. So Ferrari currently running 2-3 with both their drivers at the moment. So very good showing from them in this first qualifying session as it stands. So there we go, jib jab less than a tenth off of his teammate who is Essen on the queue and puts himself up into P3. Yeah, Ferrari looking very strong at the moment. Great luck from Jib Jab there, found five tenths or half a second off of his, his previous. Um, not really many people on track, which is quite surprising, seeing as we're very near the end of the session. The only one I can see really is too many, he's just come up to the line, and I can see you're also yep. on board with him, so... I'm on board with him. <laughs> Great minds think alike. He's two and a half. Two and a half tenths up through the middle sector, but he's five tenths up yeah, when he crosses the lap. line. Nearly six. P2 for Tooman. Very good lap from him, so he's put himself into a very strong position there. I think that should be enough as it stands, so he splits Kevin and McEwen. Puts himself P2. I think Race so is very, going again as well, Harry, if you can switch over to him. All right. I'm... Um, going to try... Oh, his monkey's gone as well. Um, I was going to try and um, get you to go... For a lap for his jam, but we've kind of not not really uh, got onto it. We've uh, had so much to speak about in this session. Oh, it's race Ooh, roller. Ten and a half up through the first set, but he has gone. He's lost the back end, and he needs to be careful actually to get off that race nine. Yeah, he did, well. he did well. He did there. Uh, is that SLR Owen? Oh, but SLR Owen's just lost it as well. Whoa! So a couple of drivers there. Synchronized spinning. Uh, it's hard to put any blame on base roller there, but I should think that his car being off the track won't have won't have helped Owen at all. But I think that was just one of those unfortunate things. To be honest, I don't think there's much yeah, more I mean, base roller um, could have done. He did well to get out of the yeah. out of the win in the first place. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't it wasn't like race roller, you know, deliberately, you know, spun or you know, deliberately, you know, put his car on, on in that position on the track to to block. Um, Owen there, but I think, yeah, like you say, it's just one of those unfortunate unfortunate things with, with spinning. Ooh, predators, predators gone as well. Yeah. Trying that's, to take a bit of an unorthodox well, line then, through Harry. that turn. No one else needs to do it. That, that Dips is your a wheel onto the grass time. and he's going to get in the way of this Mercedes. Ooh. Jeez, that was close. And he's, oh, he's just, he's, I was going to say, a bit of an unorthodox line, I think, wow. he was trying to take yeah. through that turn. Dips a wheel onto the grass and just spun it round and then very nearly collected JH. On the way back, on if he hadn't been careful, yeah, JH wasn't on a flying lap. JH is is through comfortably by the looks of things in P5, and yeah, as you say, Jam. Considering we've only well, the session's over now. Not really many drivers out on track. In fact, riggsy has gone back out despite being in P7. Uh, but Predators then is going to be starting P17, so his run of making it out of Q1 comes to an end after only one race. He's uh, back to the norm for Predators, but is that back to the norm as in we're going to see him come from 17th to P4 as usual or something of the sort? <laughs> so, so Predators then just pulling off into the pits. Owen as well is out. He's P16, so that is your bottom five. SLR Owen and ARL Predators, the only two of the bottom five actually setting laps. Monkey crashed early on in the session and Liam, and check this out, unfortunately had connection troubles. Division makes it through, I believe, on... Um, yeah, he only did a couple of laps division, but he made it through. And, uh, well, it's very tight, though. Five tenths, just over five tenths, separating mm. the top 15. It is very close. And I think that's the thing. That's what you notice, or that's what you see with a track of this nature. A very short track, you know, like Austria. 
like Hungary, like Canada, those sort of tracks. Um, you know, there's, there's less areas where drivers will be losing time as it's a shorter circuit. So we will see everyone a bit closer. Although I have to admit, I was slightly surprised perhaps to see the drivers this close, given that it is a new circuit. So it's perhaps not quite following the same trend that we had at Vietnam with a bit of a bigger gap in drivers as a someone else has joined but i think we'll be all right yeah, yeah. well it's uh, left now but i believe we're restarting the lobby anyway but don't quote me on that just yet uh could that be for i think it's for the connection issues and the fact that people have been leaving and rejoining sort of throughout the whole thing but yeah, don't quote me on that, like I say, that's just sort of what I've been seeing when I've got little messages popping up every once in a while. Right then, um, <laughs> we'll just try and find out what's going on with the lobby. Um... And then, yeah, we'll get to... I think, Jam, uh, we'll have to get you to give us a uh, hot lap track analysis. Mm-hmm. We'll get, we'll get you on board with someone and uh, you can take us <laughs> through a lap as usual because we haven't managed to do that yet. Uh, we also need to talk about the strategy as well in, in this second qualifying session, but we'll just wait for this one to end. So, once again, as has been... Well, quite a, uh, a theme throughout this season. It is Kevin leading the way in qualifying. He won in this first session on a 1 minute 9.404. Although, eight thousandths between himself and Tuman Three Sweets in P2 for the Racing Point team. Then it's both the Ferraris P3 and 4. McEwen leading Jib Jab. JH in the Merc is P5. That's your top five for this session. And then we've got... Owen in the Haas, Predators in the Avataric, the only two of the bottom five to set laps. Monkey crashed out, and then Liam and Czech had connection issues. They are the five drivers that are out. Silly Bunny making his return, as is Czech. Silly Bunny making it through in P8. Race Roller as well, the only reserve this week. Carrying on that momentum from him last time out, getting that podium. He's in P12, so he's made it through as well, as uh, I'm sure most of these drivers... That was their first aim. That was their first goal for this weekend. Obviously, perhaps not knowing quite what the pace was going to be like if they, uh, you know, to get through to Q2. I'm sure some of them will be very pleased with that. Yeah, super close. I'm, I'm pretty sure we've been mentioning it throughout the, this whole session. The yeah, half a second between everyone going into Q2. So I think that bodes well for another, another really close qualifying session. And to be honest, I think. Those uh those five guys that were fifteenth to to eleventh, could uh any of them could still get through? Well, clearly they could, because yeah, only half a second between them. So, anyone's guess as to to who's going out and who's carrying on in, in this next session. I've got a bit of bad news as well, Harry. Unfortunately for the uh for the track, for the um the hot lap, all of the corners are in Dutch. So I, I oh, can't no. say anything. Well, you can just them. give us numbers, mate. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not fluent in Dutch, and I, I don't want to completely butcher them. So, oh, there's one called like, the Audi S, but apart from that, they're, they're all... Yeah. Is that the, is that the even chicane, want to any chance? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> thingy, yeah. 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 Only 15 corners down there, apparently. I thought there'd be a few little more kinks that they'd be classing as corners, but no, only 15. I say only 15, but... That's, uh, that's quite a few. Who forgot then for me to... Okay, so JH has now retired from the session, which... So he's... he's I think... Yeah, that's good sportsmanship um, there from JH, because I don't think he was supposed to be setting a lap when he rejoined the session. Yeah, I but think yeah, there was a bit of confusion yeah. about uh, rejoining and, and what have you. Yeah, because, um, well, just to clarify for anyone that isn't uh, obviously well-versed with, with the league rules or whatever, given the current state of the game uh, and the issues that we have been having with it, um, the league owners have decided to take the step that drivers will not be invited back to the lobby 
uh, until the end of qualifying just to avoid any issues that someone rejoining may cause. JH I don't think was quite aware of that so you know that's nothing against him. It's just you know he wasn't obviously informed or something of the sorts uh, and so I think he's just uh, didn't realise that he couldn't set a lap so he's just retired now to try and you know soften the soften the blow or what have you. Um, I'm just following race world around. We'll um, we'll let you go on board with someone in a minute, Jam. But we'll just watch the Alfa Romeo finish his lap. It's looked pretty decent so far from race world. I think he's just come across a bit of traffic though in that first sector. So Ooh, yeah, it's, that's it's not congested. been the most ideal of circumstances that he's been trying to set this lap under. But he is uh, well, he, obviously he's purple because he's first driver to set a lap. Uh, but he is purple through the middle sector. We've got uh, pretty much all the drivers of three out on track. And actually, that's the other thing to mention. I'll bring up the ties for everyone as well in a second. Right then. Um, Kevin's on an outlap jam. So we'll, uh, you can go on board with him as he's just about Alrighty. to start. If you want to take us through a lap. Okay, I'll try my best then. A lap of the Zambor circuit in the Netherlands, of course. We've got Kevin GT in the house. He's on a medium tyre. Maybe trying to alternate strategy. But he's now breaking down into turn one. You want to stay off that inside curve because that is a killer instant spin pretty much if you just clip it even. Now through two and three fast, left, right. Now this first of the two bank corners, turn four. On the power early, but not too early because you can spin out of there pretty easily as well. Flat through five, flat through six, flat through seven. Short breaking to eight, They're all cool. down to six. <laughs> turn nine, that's the end of the first sector. Perfect for outside curb, don't want to run too wide on that or you will get invalidated. Slows it down nicely for 10 and now the switch back to the left for turn 11. Setting you up for this first of the DRS zones. Or sorry, second even, second of the two DRS zones I guess. Slows it down nicely for turns 11, uh, 12 and 13, sorry, the Audi S, the only corner that I can pronounce. Turn 14 and turn 15 coming up this beautiful banked corner, one of two, well it's the main bank corner on the track and predicts the main bank corner on the F1 calendar, what a corner it is. Up to the line, Kevin GT in the house, it's a 1 minute 9.8, that's a pretty respectable time on the medium tyres it has to be said from Kevin. Uh, that could possibly get him through but I don't want to speak too early but yeah either way great lap there from Kevin, nice and clean, nice and, nice and consistent. Yeah, we've had a few drivers as well setting laps. Uh, Rangan's gone quickest on a 9.2, so that's already a tenth and a half faster than what was managed in Q1. Tuman as well has beaten his Q1 lap time. Uh, Jitto has gone P3 on a 9.5, and McEwen is P4 at the on 9.7. All the other drivers are behind Kevin, who's on 9.8 on the mediums. Very good lap, as you said, Jam. And as well, that brings us on quite nicely to talk about the tyre strategy for today. Um, it's a one stop either way, whether you choose to do softs, hards, or softs, mediums. Pace difference between all three tyre compounds isn't actually that big um, as well as the undercut is quite nice around here uh, as well as tyre temps aren't ideal which means that sometimes well perhaps some drivers may be opting to go for the harder compound tyres to you know sort of soften the blow that they may have with the tyre temps being a bit high and as well just to combat the wear that that may cause as well so have we got uh, anyone on a lap? Southerners is on a lap as well, I believe. So we'll try and quickly get over to him. Here we go then. Oh, he's uh, actually just about to finish his lap. So, but apparently he's done a 38, 39, 40 second lap. Um, hello? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, Southerners has crossed the line, but he hasn't set a time. Um, you see, he's lagging badly like for you everywhere. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what, what else we got going on, Jam? Go on. What, what, what have you noticed, mate? Um, not much, but I think Kevin on the mediums, medium softs could be an option for him. I'd say medium softs is definitely better than trying softs mediums. But I think, to be honest, it's looking like most are going to start on the softs and if you're starting on the softs i think softs hard is, is the way to go for me as so i think two man just went into second did he or was that been there for a while i might have, might have got that wrong yeah two has two been there for a while mate ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Had, his time has finally registered uh he's done a 9.5 just slotting in ahead of jisso in the williams
So then we've only got a few drivers actually yet to set a lap. Uh, Silly Bunny and Esselon Morgan, the only two who haven't managed to set laps thus far. Although Silly Bunny is actually on an outlap, he's also on the medium compound tyres. Um, if we look at actually the best tab, so we go. We've got Zenon, Division, and Kevin. They're the three that have set lap times on the mediums thus far. And then Bunny also is out now trying to set a lap on the mediums as well. Division done four laps on his mediums. I'm not sure if you mentioned that there, Harry. Sorry, because I was just checking the uh, the um, streaming chat. So you've been now trying on the mediums as well. You might have already said all of this, so apologies for, I did for, say the, that. Uh, for the viewers <laughs> if you have. So yeah, that. uh not many on laps though. I think we've got Silly Bunny on a lap and then quite a few about to start laps, but I guess we're keeping with Silly Bunny for now, aren't we? I think if you're going onto the mediums, probably wanna be looking at a, a mid nine to, to make sure you're safe. I think Kevin on the nine eight probably looking quite good. So if we could get around that sort of time, might have a shot. I think Kevin at the moment looking like the only the only driver that could do it. But uh having said that he has also got these stuffs fitted in the garage so he's obviously not going to take any chances and i think that is the right thing to do especially on a track like this but yeah it's not like a bad lap so far from silly bunny no it's looked pretty pretty good and you get that mid planted. nine it yeah it's, so. it's kind of looks really stable actually which is what quite a few guys have been, been struggling with it's a 10 1. It's not a bad time at all, but it's not going to be enough to get him through, unfortunately. But I think, given that that's, uh, you know, he set the, that lap on the medium, sorry, I think he should be feeling pretty confident about, uh, you know, finding a bit of time when he goes on to the softs. Talking of people on the softs, we're on board with Jib Jab now in the Ferrari. Very strong P3 for him in the first qualifying session. As uh, his teammate, Esselon McEwen, just going fastest there on a 1 minute 9.1 yeah McEwen's looking strong this weekend as he has been all season really I think we said at the start he'd be a strong shout for the uh, for the title and I think he's starting to show his worth now five rounds in he's, he's looking like one of the one of the quickest guys in this division yeah just building that momentum which was something that he was definitely doing towards the back end of last season mm, had a couple yeah, of race wins yeah. as well Jib Jab now crosses the line, 9.5 goes P4, so both the Ferraris look very strong this weekend, it has to be said. Mm -hmm. Morgan's still in the pits, race roll has just started a lap I believe, or has he just finished one? Uh, he's just finished his lap, and he's got an engine glitch, so we'll uh, scoot away from him. I think everyone else is now on in lap. Got Williams uh, coming out of the pits, Harry. Let's we see. got Williams yeah, coming out. Here we go. Yeah, it's Jitto. Yeah, we'll get on. We'll and uh, McLaren. Jitto around them. It is the McLaren of Zenon and the Williams of Jitto. So then after winning in Vietnam, in, well, after obviously Kevin having a few issues, Jitter was, well, I wouldn't say brought back down to earth, but he was uh, met with the harsh reality, I think, of uh, starting in the, in the midfield at China, mm -hmm. um, especially with the nature of the first couple of corners. Um, unfortunately, got a bit of damage, I think, on the opening laps. And uh, was outside the points last time out in China, despite showing some very strong pace early on. Here we go then, I'm sure he'll be looking to make amends this week. We know he's got very strong pace. He's a very quick driver, especially when it comes to that one lap pace in qualifying. So we'll see what he can do here. He's currently P6, so I'm sure he'll be looking to improve just that little bit more, just to make sure that he's safe and through to Q3. As Morgan's still in the pits, so uh, I don't know if he's going to be coming out soon. Only driver yet to set a lap. He might have been one of the ones that was invited back. I'm not sure to be honest. We'll have to wait and see on that one. 
I'll keep posts on Zenon as well, Harry. I'm sure you'll be focusing on, on Jitto on his lap. Yeah, Jitto's nearly two tenths up through the first sector. Yeah, same for Zenon. <laughs> so both these guys looking pretty strong so far. See what Jitto's like as he just crosses that second sector time split. Sorry. Nearly four tenths up is the Williams driver, so he's possibly going to be moving himself up into P1. Let's see as he just come around the final corner now, flat out for this bank turn. Shortening the run to the line. Here he goes then, crosses it just shy of McEwen's lap. It's P2 for Jitto in the Williams, a one minute nine. Nice lap from Zenon Zenon as well. Slots in. Yeah, Zenon slots in nine P5 on a one for him, Harry. point. Oh, anyone else on a lap division? I think is on a lap here in the Red Bull. Just coming up to the uh, off Romeo race roller there. But division as well. Tenth and a half up through the first sector. Got Kevin in front of him as well. Harry also on a lap, so I'll, I'll keep you posted on him as well. Kevin looking to, uh, well, set Ooh. his first lap on the softs this session after yeah, four and a half up through the, the middle. mediums previously. Be, Division uh, two and a half up well. himself. Here we go then. Let's see what's Kevin going to be doing, Jam. Is it good? Yeah, it's very good, mate. 9 3, solid lap. That'll be him through. And Division across the line 9.7, P10, so it's very tight here at the top. Riggsy's on an out lap. Ooh, oh, Cox lost it again, Harry. Like... Harry. Second time in qualifying, I've seen him lose it. It's out of, uh, out of turn 10 this time, I think. He does have damage, yeah, he's missing his wing. So that's clock out, unfortunately. No, P12 mm. will be his best. Morgan's just in the pit, on board now so with um, Riggsy Jam. he's starting 14th, Harry. Driver at risk at the moment as City Bunny goes P4. Great lap then from the Renault driver. Moving up into P4. One minute 9.3. So it means that it's Rizzi and Division then really that can alter the it's timing. Rizzi is four tenths up through the first sector alone. So he's looking very strong as it stands. Division's down, he's going again. He's had to back out of that first run. Division then just going to make it to the line in oh, time. No, he's he's actually lost a bit of time through that middle sector. Division pit, so he's going to be P11 at best. So here we go wow, then. Rizzi's that, actually got to find for it. just under three tenths anyway to get through. He was nearly four up through the middle sector. Coming up to the line now, what's it going to be? 9.3, easily through then, good lap from the McLaren driver, but it is very, very tight as it has been the whole way through. Less than four tenths between the top 11 race rolled, a very unlucky there. He is out of this qualifying session by a mere eight thousandths. He is going to be joined by Division, Slotty Clock, SLR Morgan and JH as the drivers out in Q2. And the first to get that free choice of tyres. But it is McEwen setting the pace now then in this Q2 session. He's taken over from Kevin. Although Kevin is still there or thereabouts down in P6. But only two tenths off the fastest time this session. Very strong showing from, well, the whole field really. It is very tight, it has to be said. And, it, well, I think this can only bode well for the race. So then there's, there's apparently just started a lap, that's got to be a glitch though. I think because he left and I believe he rejoined the session. So his, his timing anyway. might have been um, messed up compared to everyone else. So yeah, he, he's through anyway, as you say. Oh, he's really jumped good. up to fourth, yeah. That must have been a lap he set, and now his car's carrying on. Oh, no, he's, we're waiting for people to return in the pits. I think it's a main issue. I don't believe it is seven as anymore. But yeah, that was, that was like, you know. 
Yeah, but he's just set a lap time, and then... I when he's halfway around his lap. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Confusing. Um, I'm just going to hop out for these last 30 seconds and be back for Q3 if that's okay. Yeah, no worries, mate. As usual, a few technical issues. But it wouldn't be Friday Night Division 1 race without some technical issues, would it? So, uh, there you go. Again, I think I think we're all right. So McEwen, top of the timings for this Q2 session, followed by Jisso P2 and SR Wrangler in P3. Race roller division, Sotty Clock, SLR Morgan and J. So both Mercedes out in Q2, not having the best of luck in these few opening rounds. Clock again out in Q2 after not qualifying last week. So he's again giving himself a bit of work to do in the race. We've got both the McLarens through, both the racing points, both the Ferraris. We've got Williams, a Red Bull, a Renault and a Hat. Lobby okay? Uh, what's happening? I think so. Nothing's happening. I think the lobby's good at the moment. I think we're all right. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't take my word for it, but yeah, we'll see. No, I'm, I'm a bit confused as to what we're looking at. Lobby's being restarted after qualifying. That has been confirmed now by Owen, who is of course head admin. So, yep, got some clarification on that, which is which is good to see. But either way, we've got the first pole position at Zambor up for grabs in SLR history. So, uh, well, I say first in SLR history, the first in. F1 in SLR history, so a bit of a uh, bit of bragging rights there if you get it. Yeah, definitely. So I guess as was the uh, case in Vietnam as well. Yeah, I guess this is a uh, this is a good time to call on the stream chat to uh, vote for for the poll. Um, we'll do our usual attempts at trying to get it right. Uh, been doing better than I'd say we did last season at our poll votes, but. Who are you going for today then, Harry? Jitto. Seem pretty confident with that. Answered pretty quickly. Yeah. And any any uh, I don't <laughs> think. Nah. Just just got a, got a feeling. I think uh, one of the obvious choices would be uh, would be Kevin. One would be Callum McEwen as well, because they were obviously up there in the first sessions. And I'm gonna go with Esteban McEwen for bowl. Or, hmm, actually, I don't know. Ranga's always good in qualifying, and he only did one run in each of the sessions. No, I'm going to go with McEwen. I'm going to go SLR McEwen for oh, Harry says, Jitto, the stream is saying no one. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got one from Amico. We've got McEwen, Ranga, Jitto. So all of the guys that we said. Amico agreeing with us and putting them in his top three. We've got, check this out, saying Silly Bunny for pole. His, uh, as he said in the stream chat, first full, uh, first full race back and he's he's got into Q3. So, might not be a bad shot for pole either. He's, I think he was up in fourth or fifth in, uh, in Q2. So, he's having a very strong showing so far. Single Dolphin saying McEwen. So, going with me, I think that's, that's, a, that's a safe bet. 
Vince is and Jitto, so we've got quite a few going for our votes, Harry. But uh, yeah, I mean, they look like strong contenders. As to, to be honest, I think like, all of the guys in, in Q3 do. Yeah, and, like as it has been quite a theme this season. Kevin, first driver out on track in Q3, so he's not messing about. He wants to set the lap time for the others to try and beat. And it's something that, well, hasn't exactly happened on too many occasions this season. I believe Kevin's got uh, at least two of the pole positions this season. So here we are then. He's about to start his lap if you perhaps want to take his through it, Jam. All right, we've got Kevin again then, as we did in Q2, just before the 50 meter board for turn one, stays nice and wide of the curve as I mentioned earlier, also spin really if you touch it, committed through turns two and three, now turn four, the first of the two bank corners, little lock up as you pretty much always do on the front left through there, and now it's flat out for almost the remainder of the sector, short, sharp braking, but he holds it nicely, not wanting to get in the power too early, or you can find yourself losing the car. Now for turns 10 and 11, I believe this is. A bit of a slide on the exit that's going to compromise his run down the short back straight. 48.2 through the middle sector. Oh, I don't really know if that's going to be, if that's going to be quick or not. I should think it is, because it's like a very nice lap from Kevin. He's coming up to turns 14 and 15, make up the banked corner. Flat out. Now down the straight, he's run out of ERS pretty early, but that's not looking like it's going to affect him too much. It's a 9-2 from Kevin. Pretty solid first lap there. Could we see anyone in the 8s, do you reckon, Harry? Uh, I think we might be pushing it if we, uh, if we do see... Some of these guys, you know, really perfecting well, their lives. We've got Jitto, yeah, there has. we go. So my pick for pole, 1 minute 8.9. He's gone P1 as it stands. Jibjab P5, Tumen P4, Ranga P3. Oh, McEwen's lost it, Harry. McEwen's oh, lost it. Zenon's just gone up into P5 as well. Be in the 8s as well, but yeah, just putting the power on too early out of the, uh, out of the chicane and... Unfortunately for him, that's going to be his first run gone unless he goes for another lap, which of course you can do around here. Yeah, I'm just on board with Reese. He's actually slightly out of sync with the rest of these guys. Uh, his jib jab was just getting well off the racing line there, getting out his way nicely. Through the first sector, just slightly shy of what Kevin managed. Sam saying Chitto for pole as well. He said that just before Chitto's lap came in, so <laughs> good shout there. Allow it. Sam. <laughs> Preacy looking very strong through the middle sets though. Purple middle set to actually jump. That was a tenth down on what Kevin did there, Harry. So I think he's got that same old glitch where it just goes purple no, no, no matter what. Uh, yeah, fair enough. If he's a tenth down on Kevin though, it's not going to be a bad luck at all. And it's not P6. P6. McLaren's line 6th and 7th. That's going to be them occupying the 3rd and 4th rows of the grid, I want to say. Yeah, 3rd yeah. and 4th rows of the grid. That'd be, that'd be a strong jump. And then they'll be looking good for a, uh, a strong haul of points this weekend, which I'm sure the McLaren team will be very happy about. Okay, everyone's just, uh, just pitting, I think. Oh, is Bunny Bunny's going, going again. again. Bunny's going again. All right. Might as well. We're not going to use the tyres again this weekend. Oh. Apologies. I've just messed that up. Right then. So uh, we'll shut up for a minute and we'll uh, just let you listen to the car for a, for a minute.
sector, then Silly Bunny looking very strong through this lap. Tenth and a half up through the middle sector. Taking a very tight line there down mm. the straight. Yeah, that's a good lap. That'll be unused just tires as well. Into P2. And yeah, as you mentioned, unused I tires. Think. So, yeah, definitely potential then for, for Bunny to be pushing into the eight. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's something I've noticed. Actually, quite a few drivers taking a, a, a very sort of tight line to the uh, pit wall out of that final corner. Not something I've been doing personally throughout the throughout the week practicing, but I mean, if it works for them, it, it's probably the quickest one to the line. Uh, I think we've got yeah, more guys going around for their second runs. <laughs> I'm not sure if Ranger's on one massive amount of difference. Uh, yeah, I'm just actually on board with Ranger. He's it's really into the gravel, but he's uh, actually nearly two tenths up through that first sector. I think he could get. Yeah, Pretty three runs in here because he, he, I think he should have three sets of soft tyres if he went softer. That is one benefit yeah, of and he's got only the time one lap in each of the first two sessions. He's lost yeah, a he lot lost of time there in that middle sector and I did think he made a mistake. He lost, well, really all the time that he had in the first. So I wonder if he'll just back out on this one pit and put on a fresh set of tyres. We'll uh, have to wait and see. We've got both the Ferraris back out on track uh, as is Dart Zenon in the McLaren. I'm surprised he backed out. If he had another set of tyres, then he could have set that lap and got back into the pits and got round again. So, might have just been worth Unless he was down, of course, there would have been no point. Or even if he was slightly up. 600 ups up, there would have been well, no yeah, point. Well, yeah, but really if he messed up his next lap, it could solidify him in P4 on the grid. So, I mean, if you're up on your lap, you might as well say it to be honest. Unless, yeah, he's just got no chance of getting out of this session. I mean, in Q3, you've got nothing to lose by setting it, apart from yeah, positions Zenon, that um, as well is in a bit of a similar situation. He's uh, just marginally down through that middle sector, so I wonder whether he'll set his lap or whether he'll pit. Should he... He's yeah, probably he's not got off time to pit him. Jib-jab jam. Nearly three <laughs> tenths up, though, through this middle sector. That's a bit of a tongue twister. P5. <laughs> We'd put in P5 at the moment. McEwen's just coming up to the line. Goes P3. 1 minute 9.228. So three drivers now separated by less than half a tenth. Jib Jab coming to the line. It's another driver into the that 1 minute close. 9.2. It is extremely close battle for second place as it stands. Gio leading the way. He's got a bit of a gap out in front. And he's actually just about to start a lap. In fact, he's just started his lap. So we'll... Uh, sorry. <laughs> we'll uh, just watch... The Williams driver on his run now. Ooh, look like he messed up his line a bit into there, unfortunately. That will probably lose him time down the whole of this straight, I guess. Well, you flat out the whole time anyway, even if it's not fully straight. It's tying the grass as well. He'll probably still go up in this. No, he's a temp out, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, after, after all that, I've, I've been saying, oh, he's missed it there, he's missed it there, he'll probably go up, but no, he's, he's not, unfortunately. I think he's backed out as well. Yeah, probably worth him backing out and going again if he's if he's a 10th down. I think Kevin's on a lap. McEwen's just starting one as well, so I'll keep an eye on that. Yep. Kevin marginally up through the first. But he's nearly two times up through the middle sector jam. Kevin McEwen half a tempo up there. Kevin looking good for at least P2 as it stands as two minutes. Two minutes crash. He's That's crashed out. Just in basic crunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure how he's. Oh, he'll have crossed there. Kevin crossed the there. line. Goes P2. Just. McEwen pitting. Out of the one minute eight. So McEwen hits. Um, everyone else is on out laps as uh, Zenon's just starting one, as is Silly Bunny. 
So if you want to watch then and mate, I'll be on board with Bunny. Uh -huh. That uh I suppose it's got a pink panther then. Wow. Oh Jitto. Seven from Jitto. Whoa. Even faster then from Jitto. I think that might have just sealed it. Signed, sealed, delivered, I think, from Jitto. 8.7. Very, very good lap. Has to be said. Standing about a tenth foot, a few sets to one, Harry. I don't know how Bunny's doing. Half a tenth. Half a tenth, but he's gone for a half a second to beat Jitto. That just shows you, puts into perspective how, how good a lap that was from Jitto. Uh, unfortunately, he just missed the split the for Zenon, but obviously he's coming up to the line pretty shortly. When he's looking good, he could actually just nick P2 off Kevin if he can find a little bit more time in this final sector. Off the back and is he going to do it? Yes, he is. Silly bunny, in fact. Very nearly, very nearly challenging Jitto for pole there. 8.3, Great lap. 3, 4 from Bunny in the Renault. Very good lap. Ranga has pitted. He was on a lap. Southerners has just started one, I'm even though the session's I'm pretty, No, I'm pretty sure he just did. set one. Riggsy wow, goes Riggsy P3, Jan. Riggsy goes P3. 8.9. I think Southerners' lap will eventually come onto the leaderboard then. So we'll uh, wait and see what Something to set, but yeah, very good lap from Riggs. He puts himself P3 after the troubles he had last week in quali, getting blocked, so on and so forth. He's well, he's bounced back there very strongly. P3 for the McLaren driver. Just gotta wait to see where Sivinus actually is, because I'm pretty sure he won't be on an outlet. And of course, we are restarting the lobby, so. Uh. Yeah, we'll uh, have a bit of a bit of a wait, unfortunately, to, to get this race to you. So let's go to fifth, Harry, with a, a 9.1. Nice. Yeah, I don't think anyone really would have suspected that top three, to be honest. No disrespect to Silly Bunny or Vinci, but uh, they haven't really been the top contenders in qualifying this year. But as you say, Harry, with uh, not coming to this track before, it was it was going to be a bit of a guessing game as to who would be up there. And yeah, they've obviously put in their, their two, two stonking laps. Jitto with, a, with an 8.7 as well. That's great pace from him, just continuing to uh, show his pace. Yeah, I remember earlier in the week, Riggs, he was, he was about two, three seconds off us, and he was, he was, he was saying, how, how are you guys going, going so fast? But, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's the lap that I think quite a lot of guys in the in elite would be proud of, so he's done well. But he, all of the guys in the eights really doing well. I think Kevin even on the nine flat, uh, that's, a, that's a very good time. So I think we've got ourselves set up for a pretty exciting race today. And, of course, the weather as well to factor in. Yeah, I mean, here's the other thing, not trying to brag, but uh, I did predict you of pole, so I've got one right. If it's my only one this season, I'll, uh, I'll take it. <laughs> Although I may I may have got one right already, but, you know. Nevertheless, Jitto then on pole. Uh, very strong lap from him. City Bunny in the Renault, so I'm pleased with that. Obviously, being a fellow Renault driver, we've got one <laughs> P2. But we'll be scoring points as well this week, as obviously a uh, race roller, as well as he did. Didn't, unfortunately, get those constructors' points. Riggsy P3 in the McLaren, very good lap from Riggsy. Kevin, fourth in the Haas. So again, Kevin's showing some strong pace in qualifying. Southerners P5, Jibjab P6, and McEwen P7. So the Ferraris, sixth and seventh, although they did swap around from where they were earlier on in the session. Championship leader, SLR Ranga P8. Dark Zenon, I believe he's second or third in the championship. He's P9, and Tuman is tenth in the racing point. The one advantage of the uh, lobby being restarted, of course, is that all of these guys get fresh tyres. But, um, I mean, the tyre wear is not terrible. And the wear you do a hell of a lot there, of course. Yeah, you do a hell of a lot of laps on the, uh, on the softs. But, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if a few guys quickly got into time trials to get a wet set up. Uh, it's, it's not great, but, I mean, 
Dobby's being restarted, so not really much anything to do about it if they do decide to do that. Be interesting to see what the weather actually does in this race. Mm. It's going to be as big a factor as you know it, it has been in the past, and we know it can be, or whether you know it's uh, not really going to cause the drivers too much of an issue. So I think we're just basically going to be waiting now to uh, you know get the lobby up. Get some, um, get the invites into the new session. Hopefully, it'll be a pretty quick turnaround as it was the other week. And then, of course, once we get into the lobby, we'll have a short little break just to make sure that the drivers can get their setups on and what have you. Might just be worth you popping in time trial for 30 seconds then, hey? Whilst, um... Cool. Jeez. Am I, am I getting the, uh... Jesus, alright. Um, <laughs> um, I will display my very good F1 skills on the controller then. Shall I? Do I? Am I really going to embarrass myself like that? Well, I mean, I just thought rather than sitting in the lobby for five minutes while the grid is being point. sorted out. That's a good point. Nope, there we go. We've got, we got an invite. We've got an invite. Do we join? Do we join? Do we join? Uh, I don't think the grid's ready yet, to be honest with you. I think. I don't know. It might be. Uh, I'll join and see what's happening. Alright. Here we go. We'll go in the showroom. We'll have a look at the cars. No, it's only 10 in the lobby, so... Yeah. So here you go. Here's, here's, your, here's your car that's on pole. The Williams. <laughs> Oh, I want to see you on the pad. Uh, just own Liam. Of course, as well in real life, William's just been uh, bought out by an investment company. Which is good. Keeps Williams in the sport. Good to see that they're keeping the name as well, rather than rather than changing it. Obviously, such a iconic team with such a long history. So to keep that Williams name in F1, yeah, I think is exactly. is, uh, is good to see. The attention to detail as well is, uh, you know, it's pretty impressive, especially on, you know, on this game. So there we go, and here's the Haas as well. Last re uh, last week's race winning car, driven by Kevin, and SLR Owen. As we said, very nice looking car in terms of livery. I'm a big fan of. Well, all the liveries really this season. There's not one that I particularly dislike. There's the Alfa Romeo as well. Who's in this one, Dev One? That's Guna and Monkey, but it's Race Roll instead of Guna tonight, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Then we've got the Racing Point, which is two men and Southerners. Probably my least uh, favourite out of all of them, to be pink honest. But Mercedes. I still don't think it's it's the worst car in the world. I think when the pink first came in in, in what was it, 2017, I, I thought it looked a bit tacky, but it's it started to grow on me a bit more now. I think having been in F1 for three or four years. Here's the Avatari. It was a livery that uh, the Avatari, especially that I, I really liked the look of at first, but you know what? I can't say I'm. Massively no, I, I grabbed by it. Slightly underwhelming, perhaps, uh, compared to what people thought it might be. Yeah. And there's certainly some better liveries on, on the grid. I mean, Hassan Williams, for me, I, I think uh, I prefer in terms of livery. It's still very the nice Renault as well. Part, I, I'd love a bit more yellow on the Renault, you know. Bit of blue as well, Harry. Bit of blue, yeah. Maybe when Alonso comes maybe, back. 
Yeah, next season, next season. <laughs> I would just like a little bit more yellow though, because obviously, well, that is Renault, isn't it? Yellow. So, you yeah, know, it's kind of black and yellow rather than yellow and black, as it's uh, well, used to be. Here's the McLaren as well. This isn't the updated McLaren livery, is it? Which is a bit of a shame. I don't know if that's going to be coming into the game. What was the other livery that was updated as well? Was it the... Well, the Merc, obviously. Williams. Updated, and then Williams Merc, got updated. The, the Merc, yeah. yeah. Red Bull as well. Can't really go wrong with Red Bull. Tried and trusted livery. Very nice as well. Good looking car there, Red Bull. Has to be said. And then we got the Ferrari, obviously classic Ferrari. Wouldn't turn down the Ferrari if the offer came to you. Of course, the Ferrari sure chose <laughs> McEwen and Jib Jam to drive for them this season. Unless you're ready for you, right? So here we are then. Here's the Merc. Just one quick look at the Merc then, and I will get into the lobby so hopefully then we'll be getting the that's lobby that's a good looking car that lobby is i mean the silver was always hopefully we're getting going good. <laughs> but the black on the merc with the with the sort of turquoisey highlights just looks yeah so good. and then plus the message as well that it gives it's uh it's good to see mm. yeah definitely definitely Got to choose spectator as well, mate. That's a very good point. No, I'm driving now, <laughs> mate. Did you not know? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, we've got Colker in now. Who's gone? Morgan's gone. Morgan replaced by Colker then for the race. All right. We're getting going. <laughs> Hopefully, Hopefully oh. soon. Yeah, come on, lads. <laughs> we have got, yeah, Colker then in the Mercedes taking Morgan's place. So we're going to be starting with 20. That's good to see. Going. <laughs> I don't actually know like the fact or the lengths. I reckon this is one of this got to be one of the shortest runs down to the first corner on the calendar. Mm, I reckon you've got like Monaco, Baku. Monaco and Baku are probably shorter, or about Can the same. Canada's, yeah, Canada's quite short. This, um, this is got to be one of the shortest it. ones from from pole to the first corner. That's got to be a yeah, be a short distance. Um, just off the top of my head, what else have we got? Austria is quite short. Mm. Um, yeah, but I mean, like this compared to China or Bahrain. Or uh, Spain, Spain's a long one, the Mexico, yeah. Compared to those, and you think it's, it's probably that half the distance down to that one. And the good news is, Harry, we are going, so no more waiting. In about a minute, two minutes' time, we should be starting the formation lap, which is which is great to see. Finally getting the action going for the race. It was a, it was a pretty interesting qualifying session, actually, obviously not really knowing the, uh, the times, the full potential of the drivers around this track. So it was it was good to see it was it was still a pretty close one like it 
has been in, in Division 1 all season, really. Yep, I'm going to be a bit rude, but I'm just going to quickly go and go out, grab a drink before the start of the race. Uh, so I'll join you in a sec. Uh, I'll let Jam go through the strategy or tyres or, or, or what have you. Obviously, it's going to be wet as well. That's the uh, well notable thing. It will be raining, I think, about 20 minutes into the race. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if some of the drivers opt to perhaps go for the mediums to just make sure they can get to the weather change. Yeah, I think that's a that's a very interesting question. To be honest, if um if the wait if the rain if the rain is coming in about twenty minutes, then I don't think the softs will last. To be honest, they last about fourteen, fifteen laps. A real push. They've been about eighty or percent wear. I think after after that long from fresh. And then, of course, the lap so short here, they probably wouldn't quite last you. So, I think outside the top ten, I'd be I'd be more tempted to start on the uh, the medium tyres if it is going to be twenty minutes. But I think anything shorter than that, ten fifteen, then then definitely go for the softs. Uh, I'd be surprised if anyone starts in the hards, seeing as it is going to be rain. But uh, well, you never know. To be honest, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Could work out well for them if it comes later than expected, but. I doubt that would happen to me. So the sort of weather prediction seems to be quite a bit better on this game than um, than in previous. Although, having said that, there was a race that I saw or I did the other day where it said it wasn't going to rain in qualifying, and then it did. Oh yeah, it's that Wednesday. It was the Wednesday race during the side pod. It said it. It said it was going to be dry the whole qualifying session, and then about ten minutes into the qualifying, it just started raining. So. It could come earlier than expected, it could come later than expected, it might not even come at all, but I think since the lobby's been restarted, put the wet weather onto wet, uh, we'll get some rain. 20 minutes in, it's said, so medium tyres for me, just going around in circles now, medium tyres if it's wet 20 minutes in, any earlier softs, shouldn't be any on hards. And there is a bit of a split at the moment. Yeah, that's what happens when you leave all the top. I just go around in circles. What? Sorry, mate. And stuff. I just kept going I think all the top ten. Tires, soft tires. I think all the top ten got through on the softs. Yeah, they did. And so, well, it just gives the uh, those outside of the top ten free reign to choose tyres. Looks like I'd say about two thirds opting for the mediums, as it stands. So maybe some of them not confident that the softs can make it. Through to the wet weather. Oh well, yeah, this is what I was rambling about, Harry. I said if it's about twenty minutes in, then the softs won't last. Mm, no, not quite. No, they won't. Because it's such a short lap, isn't it? Yeah. I think that. Yeah, I think you're right. It's definitely going to be something to look out for, because obviously weather change, that's 20 minutes, you know, before it even starts raining, let alone, you know, if the track is going to be wet enough for, you know, in, intermediate tyres. Mm. So I think if I were outside the top 10, you know, maybe, well, maybe not even a gamble, perhaps it's just the, the right option to, to try and start yeah. on the mediums and, and get them listening to, me, to, to the weather change. Everyone apart from race roll out, so the top 10 is on mediums. <laughs> I'm a start if those, well. if they, yeah, yeah, if those softs go off, the medium runners could be could be in the running there, could be in prime position to, to take over the top positions when the rain comes. And I think when yeah, the rain I guess comes, anyway, um, anyone's game. Yeah, and I guess if the rain doesn't doesn't come or it doesn't rain hard enough, you know, at all throughout throughout the race, then they've got the you know they're on the alternate strategy. Could work quite well for him. You never know. Well, it's raining already. Uh, so then just... It's just a bit of a pixely screen. <laughs> All right. So then, just a quick rundown of the grid. It is Jitto on pole in the Williams. Second on the grid, Silly Bunny in the Renault. Third is Rixie in the McLaren. Fourth, Kevin in the Haas. 
fifth, Summoners in the Racing Point, fifth, Jib Jab Ferrari. It's top six, all different teams. First driver to be in the same team, McEwen, P7. He's in the other Ferrari, then it's Ranga, Championship leader, down in P8. Senna, P9, and Tuman, the last of the top ten, McLaren and Racing Point, respectively. Race Roller, the only reserve, it, well, he was the only reserve in tonight. He was a, he's P11. Then it's Division in the other Red Bull. In 12th clock, leading Alphatari, P13, JH leading Mercedes, P14, Owen, second Haas, P15 for him. Predators is 16th, Monkey 17th, he crashed out in quality. Liam and Czech had the connection issues, but they are 18th and 19th, as Kolka is the second reserve now tonight. She is in the Mercedes, she just took Morgan's place after qualifying and before the start of the race. I don't want to jinx him, Harry, but Rixi usually gets pretty good starts and he's starting third on the grid so <laughs> if he gets a start like he normally does he could be challenging to just jump. jump into, into turn one but no I don't want to I don't want to get everyone excited for a, for a first lap battle for the lead into turn one but but you never know I feel like then as I think I think it was Scott said earlier in the stream this track has the potential for absolute carnage I hope we don't see that on the first lap, but there's a sign oh, there that we go. also just wouldn't be surprised if we do. So, predicted pit stop strategy, softs, hards, mediums, hards. There you go, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, easy as you like. Although it's raining, so I should think it's not going to be pretty simple. <laughs> I'm going to go with Rootsy for okay, start after all this, Harry, see how he does. Alright, mate. We're getting going, I think. They're lining up on the grid. Have we got any light? I'm not getting any. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he says Sonders is up four, so that could be part of the issue. Oh, no, here we go. Three, four, five. And it's lights out. And it's where we go. A little bit of a delay, I think, on the lights. But here we go, then. In fact, Reese has made a good start, but so's Kevin in the house. Jitter getting away very nicely there, not troubled whatsoever into turn one. It's Bunny still P2, Reese P3, but there's a lot of jostling for position going on behind, but I'm not sure if I'm really going to be able to get to it because the whole graphics and stuff on the left hand side is kind of glitching out. We've got Kevin, he's stayed, uh, he's lost out, actually, he's lost out, I think, to Summoners, who's uh, made a pretty good start into P5. One of the Ferraris jam has lost quite a few positions, it has to be said. Yeah, it's McEwen, dropped down a lot. It's looked pretty clean though to be honest. I have not really I've not seen any damage at all from anyone. Yeah, we've got race roller for position. The only driver outside the top ten start on the softs. McEwen, yeah, he's dropped down quite a way. He's gone from seventh to eleventh in these opening few corners. Rigsy already got a five second penalty for ignoring a blue. Yeah, there's the flash with Southerners saying he's a saying he's a lap down, I think, or a lap up. Uh, unfortunately, I think. Oh, he's got. Oh, Owen so got the uh, Haas. Yeah, Owen. He's in both sides um, of his wing. Both that empires. is uh, an extremely strange glitch. Uh, anyway, uh, Jitto then remains in the lead, but we've got Race Roller. In fact, actually, Jam going for a move down the inside of two minutes. Turn one. Is he going to get it done here? The Alfa Romeo driver. Uh, the racing point trying to stick it on oh, the outside, it. which turns the inside of the next corner, but he's got it. And then a big snap of oversteer, and now Tuman's got uh, McEwen on his tail. He's got McEwen to try and fend off, and I think he has just about done so for the time being. Jitto already stretching his legs out in front. Got a commanding lead already. That could really mess Race up Race Roller as well, Jam, sorry. That five second Someone penalty when it comes to the rain. Yeah, Race Roller up three positions off the start into P8. And yeah, as you say, that penalty really could mess Rizzi up because he's going to have to serve it because he has to pit at some point in this race. There we go then. Here's the position changes. Everyone in Jake the top hearts. 17 up positions apart from McEwen who's down three. JH on hard. Yeah, I just noticed that flicking through. I thought everyone was on the mediums, but he's on hards for me. On At least on track, he's on hards. I'm not sure if that's... Yeah, no, he's on hards. Bit of a gamble then, potentially, from JH. It could be a great one if it, if it works out for him. He's already on the back clock. He seems quicker than the Alpha Tari on the slower compound. Well, let's have a look then. Let's go on board with the Mercedes driver. 
He's uh, yeah, just behind clock P13 at the moment on whole compound tyres. So maybe JH not convinced that the rain's going to come as early as some might suspect. As he is uh, he's carrying on. We just saw uh, Jitto set the fast slap, which was swiftly beaten by Rigsy. Although those top three guys have spread out a little bit already. Timings have obviously glitching out because it says Sonas is down in 20th when he's actually P4. I think he's going to have that glitch where he's a lap down. Mm-hmm. Which is going to really screw some people over because, well, like Reese fell victim to. He was getting the blue flags when he shouldn't have been. I think we've got race roller as well. Oh, we've got yellow flags behind but no one there. Um, we've got race roller who's very fast off the start and in fact he's going for a move on Zenon. We're queuing on two men as well to make behind. another position. Predators leaving the session so if you can try and get him back in Jam that will be his one and only invite. Yeah. Um, McEwen as well on two men there battling away and I think McEwen has got the move done. Yes he has. So then it is race roller P7. He's got Zenon behind now P8. So race roller up four off the start. But Zenon's having a little look there. And the inside into turn eight, I believe that is. And then, well, running a bit wide onto the grass. And that has lost him quite a bit of time there through those few corners. So, race roller then up to P7. Very good start from him. The top three already spreading out quite a bit. Bunny trying to keep up with Jitto. But the gap's just over a second. As is uh, Rigsy, Rigsy's gap, sorry, to Bunny. And then it is Summoners uh, right on the tail of Rigsy. Although, it obviously, doesn't say that on the graphic. That is the case very good start from race roller though he's uh he's actually gaining on uh on ranga as well in the red bull so he's definitely looking to you know make some moves early on showing uh showing his intentions here in this grand prix Check McEwen as well, Joe, actually. Oops, sorry yeah yeah checks no sorry that's fine check oh. Five, we missed that. Uh, I was just going to say McEwen as well now. Um, he's on the back of Zenon. He seems to be pressuring Zenon a little bit. Although, it just seemed to me, I don't know if you've noticed it, quite a few of these drivers already quite low on the ERS. I know it is yeah. uh, well, somewhat difficult to manage around here compared to other tracks. And it does seem to be the case here. Especially for a race roller, I saw he's, he's definitely been pushing because his ERS was below 30% already. But here we go, and McEwen, he's got a pretty nice run, actually. Out of, is that turn 11? Yeah. But he's just not close enough, and that straight's just a bit too short for him to really go for a committed move there on the McLaren. Although Zen losing the back end slightly there through turn 13. But again, it's just so hard to get that run through these final couple of corners because of the dirty air, because of the loss of aerodynamic performance. Although, having said that, the Ferrari is coming and it's coming fast. Down the inside goes McEwen on Zenon. He's going to try and hold it around the outside. It's the McLaren driver, but McEwen on the traction, getting the move done. But going side it. by side now through the first few corners. McEwen getting the elbows out. Very good move from the Ferrari driver there. It was hard racing, but it was clean racing, and that's what we love to see. Very good move from McEwen up to P8. After what was uh, not a brilliant start from him, it has to be said. Two million division as well. They're keeping these guys in check. Uh, running is a bit of a foursome at the moment. Although Zenon again running wide onto that curb through on the exit of turn 10. And it, it keeps putting him on the back foot. It did the same thing with Race Roller and it allowed Race Roller to extend his gap to the McLaren driver quite comfortably. And in fact, Race Roller is pushing on and he's getting himself up into uh, that pack there with uh, Riggsy at the front. Predator's left again so he's clearly having some big connection issues as well. That's the other thing that's going to throw us off. Um, do, I, um, do I invite him again? From, uh, I don't think so mate. Everyone from Kevin downwards is down one position but Riggsy and Southerners are fighting. Southerners going for the move here. So Riggsy down now to P4. Southerners up into P3. The raising point there. Getting the move done and these two are losing touch. To the front two of Jitter and Bunny already. Although Riggsy has got pretty good ERS. Jitto and Bunny both down below 30% for theirs. 
this is the thing that I think is unlucky for Southerners, really, because I believe come the end of the race, no matter where he finishes, he's just going to drop down to 20th or last out of mm. everyone that finishes because he's a lap down, seemingly. So I think these are the net positions, effectively, because as far as, I've, as far as I'm aware of what I've seen previously, he is actually going to be 20th and we don't sort out the glitches so I believe he will be classified last out of the runners if he finishes the race. But we'll have to wait and see because it might all fix itself at the end and I hope it does. So then after 7 laps, 230 is the way, it's Monkey in second but we're going to switch over to Division now. I think he's the first of the medium runners, I believe he is the first of the medium runners here in, well it is P11. Although two men actually pitting already, so an early stop there for the racing point driver. Division not quite close enough into turn one to go for a move on Zenon, but it does look as though Zenon is struggling a little bit, Jam. He's taking some very interesting lines through these corners. Um, he's obviously trying to find some time somewhere because he does seem to be struggling a little bit, especially with that rear end. Going onto the grass as well quite a bit, which won't help proceedings as Division having a little, having a little look, filling the McLaren's mirrors with that matte blue red ball mm. just letting him know he's there and again Zenon running quite wide onto that curb but it doesn't really seem to be losing him a great deal of time jam no two men with a wind wind change as well harry uh another set of soft tires so we'll be looking to push it till the rain comes we've got a bit of a train forming behind clock uh i don't know whether that is a train necessarily or whether it's just sort of the way that these guys have been running line of stern for the last few laps but check this out is having a look i think he might be lining up a move here going on to the main straight uh, the sort of top six seven eight they're all sort of staying as they are for now kevin's got rigs as well harry i'm not sure if you mentioned that sorry uh, so no, sorry I'm I'm there that, but we have noticed. got check we have got check going for a move on clock a bit of contact clock made. Oh, and clock's round oh and he's on the racing line kind of very nearly Came together with Kolka there as he tried to spin the car back around. So clock round. I think probably just a bit of understeer. The nature of that first corner is quite understeery. And I think uh, and tight as well it has to be said. So I think that's probably going to go down as a racing incident. Uh, Division has made his way past Dark Zenon. So Division, he is the highest up of the mediums runners as I just mentioned. And he is up into P10 it is. Uh, it says P9, but he is currently P10. Kevin as well, as you mentioned, Jam, he has gotten his way past Rixie. And here's the rain. Here's the rain. We've just seen the switch yeah. on the screen. The rain's been flicked on. So here we go then. I wonder how long it's going to be till we see some of these guys pitting for the intermediate compound tyres and whether this shakes up the order a bit or not. I think it definitely will. And uh, I believe the rain's probably going to come down quite quickly. Maybe only a lap or two until we see drivers coming in for the inters. Just got to be careful on the, well, uh, on the power now as well. Yeah, definitely. The other thing that will be interesting is whether the inters can last, well, however many laps they need to, or whether we will see some drivers pitting again for another set or a set of wets if it gets wet enough, or uh, another set dries if it dries out again. But it will be interesting to see if the inters can go the distance. Um, I'm sure these drivers will be looking to try and take him distance, but I can't say I know at all. So, you know, we're kind of in the dark in terms of strategy. JH, I'm not sure it was the right decision to go onto the hards. Seems as though most of these guys should be all right starting on the softs as well, given that it's lap 10. The softs can do about uh, 13, 14 at a push. So I think, uh, given, um, Ooh, yeah, given as long as the rain continues to fall down as it is we should be all right there's yellow flags but i can't see anyone off again i think that's just a bit of a visual glitch that we keep uh, seem to keep getting in this middle sector but it does look as though zenon's fairly close to division i'm not sure he's quite close enough to go for a move though no one pitting yet slightly by the nature of that final corner seems as though drivers are perhaps a bit closer to each other than they really are Southerners, though, since getting past Riggsy, hasn't really been able to pull away. As Kevin, as well, is keeping in touch, and uh, Riggsy, for that matter. Jib-Jab, as well, just within the DRS. Race roller 
pushed up to Ranga but has dropped back a little bit since and uh, he's actually got Esteban McEwen coming up to the back of his Alfa Romeo. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that and see how that one pans out. But uh, well, we're only on lap 11. 25 still to go. Zenon still struggling a little bit with that rear end. I wonder if that's possibly a, down to his setup where he's got a bit more of a wet weather orientated setup on that McLaren. But I think the tyres, his well, soft still will still be out. I think I would have pitted this lap. Pretty decent performance window. Although it might still be too early. It's hard to say. It says someone is six laps down. Um, it's hard to say though, isn't it? I guess because, um, well, obviously it's it's a lot to do with the feel of the car, and mm -hmm. well, we're not driving, so we don't really know how these no. guys are feeling out here. Lap times aren't actually that bad. They're only two seconds slower than what they've been doing. So I don't think it is going to be quite wet enough yet. It's generally when they get to about you know five six seconds slower than what they've been doing. It's sort of the crossover. It's time to come in for the inters because that's when they'll be in their performance window. Excuse me. As some of these drivers now definitely seeming to struggle as the gaps between them are starting to get a bit bigger. Zen and again, is that McCarran? Uh, has that got a bit of a lawnmower on the front of it? Because Zenon is uh, going onto the grass quite a bit here. You know, not trying to be too critical, but uh, just taking some interesting lines at the moment. This uh, the McLaren driver, but still keep in touch with Division pretty nicely. And uh, check this out as well as managed to catch up to them. I think it probably is Inters now. I wonder, is anyone going to pit? What's Jitto doing? Jitto stays There's out. If I were Bunny, I'd be inclined to pit, but Bunny stays out as well. Let's see, some of them are just pit. looking at the minimap, they're all staying out. I think looking it's definitely track, close it's now. Staying. Everyone's staying out, what's Division going to do? Division stays out, Zenon stays out, everyone's staying out. I'm not convinced, I might be inclined to pit. Well, someone taking a gamble. You never know. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm that thinking. You know, if, you're, if you're Colco in 15th, or you know... <laughs> no, I think someone to, with their teammate someone out like that, but, should probably fit there. Yeah, should probably exactly. Pit. If, 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 you know, if you're... Outside the points or whatever, you know, running on your own as Colker is, as Liam is. Why not, why not have a go as Czech's now struggling on the power? I think we were right, Jam. I think it is time for the Inters as, uh, yeah, Jitto 2 yeah, five definitely down through the, the first sector. So, yeah, I think they, they should have listened really to slowly. us. <laughs> they should have listened to us, but obviously, uh, well, I don't think the drivers have the stream on whilst they're Yeah, driving. Owen pits. <laughs> Owen first driver to pit. Owen, unfortunately, Owen's a bit behind too far behind, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. It was the first time he could pit where it's wet in the fiends, so he's been the right uh, With Jitto being in the Williams as well, Jam, he's uh, not going to be held up by anyone Ooh, either. Oh, a... so we've got a Red Bull round. It is division. Off at his home race Jitto well. staying that's out, be... Jam. Jitto staying oh, out. They're... Bunny they're... staying they're... out. They're... Oh, they... oh, safety, safety car, no. Oh, Bunny. Bunny had a look at the pit lane, but he just couldn't get in. So wow. Southerners pits, Kevin pits, everyone's going to be pitting now with this safety up. car. Let's hope... For Bunny and oh, never headed the Jitto's sake, yeah, so for their sake that they don't have to wait behind it. Oh, it Bunny's Bunny behind can it. Pass it. The green light's on, yeah, so Bunny okay. should be able to pass it and be all right. So hopefully these guys won't lose out. They'll be able to pit and keep their position. As uh, yeah, all these guys I believe will be pitting for Inters. Um, I don't know if you just want to check jump. Yeah, of course they are. I'll get it up as well. They might yeah, get it. Up, got they might change that instantly though, of course. Yeah, here we go. Everyone going on to Inters. <laughs> yeah, everyone's As well, obviously, some of these have to stack behind their teammates, so they might have lost mm -hmm. out a little bit. I think Briggsy's actually lost out to Ranga and Jib Jab. Yeah, Jitto and Bunny are all going to... Everyone passing the safety car, of course, because Jitto is the leader. But, um, yeah, Jitto and Bunny should still get out in, in first and second. So, thankfully, they just got ahead of the safety car, and it, it hasn't affected Jitto's... them. Going quite slowly, I think. Uh, Bunny's caught right up to the back of uh, well, the driver. Well, I don't think he wants to risk it. No, why Why risk no. it if I'm a safety car? He's going to come out ahead of them all anyway, I should think. So, uh, yeah, no need to risk it. Yeah, it's a pretty short pit lane round here anyway. It's about 15, 16 seconds with a pit stop. So, uh, I guess drivers, uh, well, probably only losing about 10 seconds or so in the pits now. So when this is on so another yeah, set seen the top two the softs. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> He's hmm. got it. 
on the screen and he's got it on the timing. But he's staying out. So maybe... What? Unless it's just completely wrong, but... Well, it says they're four laps old. And that he's eight laps down. Yeah, nine laps so... down for me. There's race roller yeah, pits I again. I so I wonder what he's doing. Is race roller again for wets, do you think? No, no he's one. changing his wing. He must have oh, hit yeah. something or someone behind the safety car. Division trying to overtake Polka behind the safety car. Oh, no. Looked like he was trying to make a move down the inside. Because Owens lost it behind the safety car. But I think if he's lucky, he'll be able to pit and catch back up. I hope for his no, sake he can, because he needs a bit of luck to get back into this race, obviously, with his spin on the first lap. Yeah, he might come out just in the middle of this train, though, which I think would stop him from unlapping himself. No, I think it would be right. he's unlucky. Yeah, I think he should be right. Well, we'll try and get the order well. kind of, you know, uh, leveled out and wait for these guys to catch up. Uh, the safety cars can be doing at least one more lap. I wouldn't and stay down, so maybe he didn't get damaged. No, he didn't get damaged, that's good to see. Division spun. So Division spun, but the safety car came out. Seems possibly a bit unnecessary, but mm. you never know. Yeah, we've had moments in some of our elite races where the uh, where drivers have retired and there's been no safety car, and someone's just spun here and the, the one's come out, so... Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Hmm. The rain looks pretty heavy in terms of the water on track. Yeah, it Especially does. when these guys are so close to one another. But I think that's probably part of the reason. Don't think it's wet enough for wets yet. But if it keeps on going like it is, maybe we will see a few drivers going on to the wets at the end. Because if it does get wet enough for the full wet tyres, well, there is a very significant difference in pace between someone on the wets and someone on the inters if uh well it's the right circumstances for them so it's whether someone you know will take that gamble should it get wet enough and you know chance their luck as did owen yeah owen's just catching back over in there he didn't pit did he of course maybe he's just giving himself an extra lap before he pits no, no so he didn't he did, damage, definitely didn't he get damaged damage. then. Yep, definitely didn't get damaged. So, we are all right then. So, I might just about catch up if he's lucky. We've got Jitto leading, Bunny second, it is Southerners P3, Kevin fourth, Jib Jab fifth, Ranga sixth, Rigsy seventh, McEwen P8, check this out, P9, he's benefited quite a bit from this. Zenon tenth, JH eleventh, Monkey twelfth. Liam 13th, Kolka 14th, Division 15th, Tooman 16th, Race Roller, he's pit twice, is 17th, Clock 18th, Predators 19th, and Owen is 20th and last. But I don't think the safety car's actually coming in this lap, so Owen, I think, might have the chance to catch up to the pack, which is good for him. As, yeah, it doesn't look like the safety car's coming in, as Jitto is, well, far too close to it, really, for it to be coming in. So, yeah, we've got another lap at least behind the safety car. And then hopefully we should get the racing back underway the, the start of lap 18. Looks like it's getting wetter. It might go to full wet here. It does look the spray definitely it doesn't look great but perhaps this is just um when the guys are following behind each other in such close proximity we're actually less than halfway through this race and it's raining as well so it might be a bit of a bit of a longer one tonight as we're just about reaching the 100 minute mark i don't know if you've been looking at the chat jam i apologize i haven't there's not been um, there's not been, been too been much in the chat sem was just said to just nearly lose it there i think that was behind the safety car but uh, i didn't see it personally i must have been something you were watching safety car in this lap though hey 
I think there was a moment when they just caught up to the queue where Jitto, um, well, Bunny nearly, um, well, I say nearly, he wasn't really that close to Jitto, but Bunny kind of had to just sort of check his line for a corner to avoid Jitto. So then here we go then. Going to get the restart going. I'll uh, stick on board with Bunny just for a second, just to see how Jitto chooses to do this. I think he's going just about now. Obviously, this is the first lap really that these drivers are going to drive in anger in the wet conditions, and Chitto is absolutely flying away. He's got rocket ship in the back of that Williams, I think, Jan, because he is pulling away already. Big gap and big gaps throughout the field as well. So I think some of these drivers perhaps being slightly caught out on the restart. So it is just so from Ben's Bunny, almost I lost it on the straight. Uh, so from I think that's his AI well. driving though. Ah, I know why Reese lost that because he had to serve that five seconds. There we go. I, kn I knew I knew something wasn't quite right there. So yeah, Reese uh, I think has served that five second penalty he received in the pits. Summoners is pressuring silly buddy over that P2 spot. Summoners now apparently 11 laps down and on softs. It it does look like he's on softs, but he must be on inters. There's no way he'd be. This no, close he'd, be, on he'd be gone softs. by now if he was on if he was on the uh, if he was on the soft. It's a big visual glitch. Yeah. Big jab is P5. Of course, there's all the drivers behind. Well, from Kevin downwards, or another position down as well. I don't think there's really been any changes in terms of position. Have the jump? Not that I've seen. I think Chet might have got that past Zenon. Or no, that was already happened, hasn't it? Um, no, I don't think anyone's changed as far as I've seen. Division picking up, I believe that's the first penalty of the race. As all oh, the yellow flags have lost three. It. And we got VSC. Division's hit him. And we got and Red Bull with Oh, that's well. a massive crash. Oh. That is a virtual safety car, and that was the Red Bull of Division upside down. That was a huge crash. Whoa. I think you, I think you got to clip that one, Jam. <laughs> I've only I'll just caught it. To see that later. Uh, so yeah, VSC Jitto already two and a half seconds out in front, commanding lead already. And then, in fact, Bunny and Sonas have pulled a bit of a gap to Kevin. So then we've got two drivers out already, and it's two Dutch drivers at their home Grand Prix. Monkey and Division both out, unfortunately. For them, it's all oh, Kevin nearly losing it on the traction on the restart. We've got Jib Jab. It says he's up a position, but he's. Well, he's got Riggsy behind him. In fact, Riggsy quite close behind him. So, again, again with the, the graphics glitches. But we've got, yeah, the McLaren and Riggsy right on the back of Jib Jab in the Ferrari. But again, it's just that like combination of the. the biggest crash that I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. Weather, dirty air. But in fact, having said that, Rizzi looks like he's got a very nice run through the final corner. Is he going to go for a move down the inside into turn one? He's going to have a think about it. Is he going to send it? He sort of half-heartedly kind of puts on that the car in a position two, and then doesn't really never fully committed there, Rizzi. I don't he think. He's and well, Jib Jab, I think, kind of entitled to the racing line there, um, and Rizzi kind of just never really committed enough for that move for Jib Jab to. Uh, to have to leave in the room there. Kevin has definitely lost a bit of time, a bit of ground on that restart because Ranga is right on the back of the Haas now as Jib Jab runs very wide there through turn nine and Rixi's going to slide on through the inside. Rixi opportunistic as ever getting up the inside there on the exit of turn nine and into turn 10. Good move from the McLaren driver up into P5 now. He's, uh, well, it's P6, sorry. And uh, he's going to try and catch up to the back of the Haas and Red Bull ahead of him and now McEwen is going past his teammates so Jib Jab is in two positions in about as many corners there so uh, I think Jib Jab struggling in this wet weather I wonder if he's got a dry setup on he's now got checked he out a bit as well damage. right behind him yeah he's missing his right end plate Harry oh I wonder how he's Oh, maybe he lost it with the contact from Riggs. I don't. Well, I, don't I doubt know. it. I doubt didn't, it. Yeah, I didn't see contact. anything. Or yeah, I didn't really see anything. 
So Chip Chap Man clearly struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's really missing his left hand play, but wing. thinking about a move yeah, so. over inside the check. <laughs> well, check's right on the back of Chip Chap though. I think it's only a matter of time before the Renault gets past the Ferrari hit. Is he going to have a little look at the inside? Chip Chap positioning his car pretty well there. And check. Ooh, big moment on the power. And he's going to have Zenon, I think, having a look at him now. Chase so Zenon, Zenon as well. As well. Struggling a little bit. They remain as they were. And now check this out. Right on the back of Jib Jab once again. Are we going to see a move? Just biding his time. Just waiting it out. A little bit of a tap on the back of the Ferrari. But nothing too untoward there. Is he going to get the run down into the chicane? Again, has a little look, but just never really Ooh, a gap there. Although, whoa, he's gone for a, he's gone for a gap. <laughs> Check this out. He's kind of put his car there in a well, another opportunistic move. Again, just tapping the back of that Ferrari, but getting the move done now. As Jib Chab struggling a little bit with that wing damage, and uh, JH with a half spin there. Do you say Jam? As recently, yeah, pits. he lost a couple of positions. We've got a couple in the pits. Jib Jab as well. I wonder if they're pitting in for wets or just new inters. New inters. I wonder I if he's got damage as well. Yeah, they're fixing his wing, I think. But fresh inters might not be a bad call though, because he could probably, he can definitely take them to the end. And uh, if other people stay out, they'll be going a lot quicker than the one that on the fresher inters later on. Check this out as well. Seems to be struggling a little bit, especially on the traction. He was pretty slow there out in the corners. I think just sort of taking it easy on the throttle. Zenon looks quick, but I think he's just struggling a bit with that damage that he's got. Was it Zenon that had the damage, did you say, Jam? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think Zen struggling perhaps a little bit with the uh, turning of the car. Jitto just like sending that gap. Four seconds now is his lead. Bunny as well. I think he's just sort of got his composure back in P2. Summons P3. Kevin Fourth, it's again quite a big gap to Rango in front and behind of the Red Bull driver. He's P6. As it's uh, P5, sorry, as it stands. Ooh, as well. GH almost lost it around the banking. There's no so so check was struggling. He's he's pulled away, checks pulled away. A second and a half to Zenon already is Tuman. Going for a move on JH, he's got it done. And now I think Racer Org as well is going to try and put himself into contention, into the conversation. JH taking quite a wide line there through turn four, is it turn four, turn three, turn four? <laughs> um, <laughs> just to uh, optimise his exit. It seems as though. A few of these drivers struggling somewhat in these wet weather conditions. As already, there's gaps forming in this field. Despite this only being the fifth lap of clear running, his own picking up apparently now. Uh, JH nearly losing it on the kerb. Just out of interest, Jam, who's got the fastest lap? I'll get back to you on that. It is Silly Bunny on a 12-2, apparently. Because I believe uh, so that yeah, probably keep that. stay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine he'll keep that. So if he finishes inside the top 10, which he's looking good to do at the moment, touch wood, he, uh, he'll get that extra point. That was race roller. Again, I think that's been a bit of a theme in this race. We've seen drivers sort of just having a look at the inside and just not quite committing to the move. I think it's smart driving, really, because they're not close enough, really, to make an overtake. And I guess they're just thinking about the long run, you know. Excuse me. The race definitely isn't won on lap one. It's definitely not won in one corner. And these guys, you know, just waiting it out, just biding their time, going for the probably more clear-cut overtaking opportunities that they're getting. Uh, as well, Colkin out up to the back of Zenon. Kolka's had a pretty quiet race thus far. 
But she's managed to get herself up into P8, keeping it consistent, keeping it clean. And as well as reaping the rewards of it. In fact, this is the battle for P8 because obviously Summoner's Cart puts everyone down a position. So this is the battle for P8. Zenon currently occupies that position with Kolka in P9. Is she going to go for a move down the straight? Zenon definitely struggling with that wing damage. I say struggling, but the pace is still pretty good. McEwen pits now as well, so I wonder if these inters aren't going to make it to the end. As McEwen goes on to a fresh set of inters, so it's not for another compound. It's not for wets, and it's definitely not for slicks. Um, but perhaps just some of these drivers just slightly worried that the inters are going to make it to the end as well. Yeah, flag to sector one. As McEwen had a bit of trouble coming out of the pits, Jam. Not from what I can see. No, I don't, I don't know what that was for. We've got a lot of guys pitting now, so yeah, I wonder if it, the Inters have some sort of significantly high wear round here, because I wouldn't have expected Ooh, to that's see two man these guys going very pitting. wide. Sorry, Harry, sorry to put in there. I just noticed that taking up one of the brake marker boards, and he's now got JH right on the back of him. And Race Roller trying to oh, be inside. Roller. Yeah, yeah, just seen it. Just saw an Alfa Romeo front wing sort of peek into view. Race Rider was definitely having a little look at the inside there into turn 11. Didn't quite have the space though to go for the move to really commit to that move. The Silly Bunny Pits, as does Chito. So I think I'm definitely under the impression now that the intermediates just aren't going to make it to the end. Mm. Although we may see someone, you know, try and get them to the end because uh, the can put them in a very strong position. There's two moon pits as well. Where Bigsy comes out compared to them. Although. Having said that, he's a long way behind because they are already back out on the track. And, and he changed see. his wing. Oh, yeah, of course he did. But even so, he's now fighting Clock for. Oh, Riggsy round the outside of Clock. I think he's just about gotten the move done. Riggsy coming out just ahead of Tooman in the racing point. I think he is sixth out of those that have. Fifth out of those that have pitted, sorry, is Riggsy. As we've got Yellow Five Sector 3, we've got Owen pitting. I don't think there was anything other than that. So we've got Kolka yet again now on the back of Zen, and they've got Bunny just up the road, but he has, of course, done an extra pit stop. Jitto now has got a commanding lead. It's up to about well, nearly seven seconds is the Williams driver's lead. Are we going to see Kolka go for a move on Zenon this lap, or are they both going to pull off into the pits? I think that would release Kolka anyway, because Zenon would most likely be changing his front wing. It would be another pit, uh, another wing change at McLaren. Is Jitto's retired, Jan? What's going on? He's crashed. He's crashed. Whoa. What? Where is he? He's, He's on the straight. straight. Just past the lights. I wonder if he's gone for a move on someone and and hit them. I didn't see it. No, I but yeah, didn't. this is. Whoa, I. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, what, what's what's happened there? Wow. So I big... was not expecting that. Yeah, yeah, big ramifications then on onto the rest of the rest of this race with the leader crashing out. It does, I think, promote silly bunny. Uh, if everyone should pit again to a net P1, Bunny as well will have the tyre advantage being on a fresh set of inters. His teammate, check this out though, up into, I think P2 it is, although it's kind of hard to tell because obviously Summoner's car's still in the midst. Uh, as Czech's just got a penalty for a collision with Summoner's, um, so I'm not quite sure what's happened there. I think because Czech's not been near him all race, he thinks he's a lap down. Kevin is leading. He is on everyone's screen. Kevin, is he going to pit? That has to drive. I think if Kevin pits, he might actually just come out in the lead anyway. So this safety car, in fact, has really played into his hands. Uh, I think he is. So I believe Kevin will resume the lead of the race. Some may call it for you. Pretty good Some in the wet though, may so. call it being in the right place at the right time. Check this out, pits. In fact, most of these guys are pitting. I think Bunny's. Uh, Check, sorry, is pitting to serve that penalty more than anything. Kevin does, in fact, come out ahead 
of City Bunny. Summoners stay in P2. I think Summoners hasn't pitted though. No, he's not. I don't or think. Has he? I haven't seen him. It's last week's name. But yeah, it says he's on nine and a half old softs and he's clearly not. So I, I don't know what's happening yeah. to be honest with him. So, race roller then P is up to P4. Ranga is fifth. McEwen sixth. Rigsy back up to P7. So he's recovered all right after a hand to change his wing. Tuman is P8. Jib Jab ninth. And JH is tenth. That is your top ten. At the moment, we've got three drivers out in this race. Monkey and Division both crashing after having a coming together. A big, big incident coming out the final corner. And Jitto, surprisingly, the race leader crashing on the start. Finished straight in unusual circumstances. Uh, if we find out any more about that, we will, of course, bring it to you. But as it stands, it seems like it's some sort of freak accident by the looks of things. I've got someone in the yeah. stream chat racing. Southerners car was standing still on the straight. And then... Slash Jitto. So, I really hope it wasn't anything to do with the fact that Summoners is seven laps down on soft tyres for us. And I think for everyone else, he's seven laps down. But yeah, I really hope it wasn't anything to do with that because I'd be so unfortunate if it was. And like I say, everyone is sort of a position down from second onwards, yeah. but I think they're not because I should think Summoners is going to end up. Down in last, come the end of the race, from what it well, looks this is the like. Thing, the though, like yeah, we, we don't know. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm moaning or anything, but it is quite hard to sort of keep up and keep track of kind of where everyone is when everyone's actually a position lower than they are. And mm, some of yes, is, it is, either it is. on fresh inters or old inters, not on softs, and apparently he's six laps down and in last and something. Although he, he's gaining laps back at a speed of rate of knots here because he was 11 laps down, only, only a few few laps ago and now he's only six so you know it's quite confusing really to sort of keep track of things we are on lap 29 i believe the safety car should be in this lap uh to which we will have mm. six uh seven laps left mm. of clean running well touch wood it's clean running also something else um, worth noting quickly Harry, is but both alpha tauris on in the race it's the ai is driving for them oh <laughs> got it okay uh, all right um uh yeah uh right then uh, <laughs> so we've got about half the grid either not in the race or um you know in a position that they're not um everyone else is on intermediates uh some of which are a lot fresher than others some of which are a lot older than others uh but it is kevin in the lead that is one thing that we do know for sure it is kevin in the lead in the Haas. Safety car as well is in this lap. That's another thing that we definitely know. Um, and hopefully then we'll be able to get back underway and we'll be able to go racing once again. I wouldn't bet against Bunny here though because he no, did have some very not. strong pace earlier on. He was, well, second fastest to Jitto. As Kevin sped up and then stopped again. So a bit of an interesting restart from him. But we are back underway. Rigsing two men of a collision race. as well, I've seen. Race rollers had a very good restart jam. He's having a look at Bunny. He had a think about it to the outside at turn one. but Someone's off on the straight. Hawker's massive crash on the straight. Owen's hit her as well. Both of them out. Oh, I can't even flick to it. I was going to flick to it and have a look, but we can't. There's that old um, saying, how safety cars create safety cars. I think if this was real life, to be in the one after that. There was a huge collision. Wouldn't to get an inch at the end of it, but Polka was flying down the straight. It again. Oh, check's gone. Awesome. Check's gone as well. The jam jam lies in this race. Gone. <laughs> oh, things go from bad to worse then for check. Picking up a penalty, pitting again. And now he's uh, had a bit of a moment and dropped off again. Yeah, I don't know if you could just clip that uh, incident again, please, Jam, because, well, I personally would quite like to just see what happened. Uh, it's Kevin starting to pull away already. Summoners trying to stick with him. I think Bunny's slightly losing touch. So I wonder if this safety car's kind of killed Bunny's momentum right, a little bit. I've got some put him off a bit of a rhythm. I've got some details on the Jitto incident. As far as I'm aware, he's just hit Southerner's car that was just stood still on the straight. So there <sighs> seems to be lots of glitches to do with Southerner's connection, this lobby or what have you. Which is just really unfortunate. 
yeah, only down, we're down now to, I think, 15, although there's only 13 driving, I think. No words. Ah. Kevin's starting it's to just stretch disappointing, man. as well. It's yeah. just disappointing, though. When... I wouldn't even pin the blame on Summoners. I mean, I know he's having connection troubles and, and what have you, but at the end of the day... Whether he's having a bit of issue with his Wi-Fi or what, that shouldn't cause something like that to happen. That's purely down to the game, and that yeah, it's really disappointing. Like that that on it's it's on really disappointing that, that that's that that's you know been the end of Jito's race uh, for for what has been a commanding drive from Jito. It's yeah, it's really disappointing that that is how it's had to end. But we have still got. Five laps to go, so we'll uh, we'll we'll keep going for you. We'll uh, we'll stick with it, although it's yeah, it's proven to be a little bit, um, well, just a little bit disappointing, I think. Um, <laughs> de dejecting, if that's the right word, um, killed the mood perhaps slightly that, but um, yeah, we'll keep going for you. So it is still Kevin in the lead. Uh, him and Summon is really stretching the legs now. Bunny still got that P3 position with race roller four. Ranga as well coming up to the back of the Alfa Romeo. So I wonder if the uh, championship leader's got anything to say in the closing stages of this race. McEwen as well, keep in touch. He's still sick. Then it's Rigsy. He's got Tuman, JH and Jibjal. That's the top 10. Uh, they're all pretty close to one another. Zenon, first driver outside of the top 10. He's 11th. And then there's only actually two other drivers driving, which are Liam and Czech in, well, 11th, uh, which is 12th and 13th, sorry. I've not really seen much happening anymore now either. I think Liam's stuck behind Clock's AI car, which is a bit unlucky for him. He's got Czech and, hmm. well, I say Czech and Predators. It's just Czech really, isn't it, behind him? Because Predators is also an AI. Yeah, Czech's going up the inside of Clock, and he's got the move done. So good move from Czech. And in fact, Predators AI is battling with Liam. Yeah, it's just, uh, my heart goes out to Chito because that must just be so demoralising. The way, uh, you know, having your race ended like that. But Liam has gone quite deep into the chicane. He had a look at Clock, Clock's AI, but just not quite close enough to go for the move. But I think he should have a good run out of the final corner, although he gets a penalty for his troubles. And he nearly loses it. Oh, he nearly loses it. Back end was going. Did well to hold it. So good save from Liam. Rangus to right in the back of race while well, he's practically pushing him around these first few corners. Let's have a look then. Look over to the Red Bull driver. He's on the back of the Alfa Romeo. He's got a very nice run, it has to be said. Is he going to go for the move though into turn 9 in these wet weather conditions? It's hard enough in the dry. No, not quite. <laughs> not yet. It's not quite that time to go for a move like that, I don't think. <laughs> you know, four laps to go. So, they're just going to stay as they are for now and this has kind of been the another theme kind of been the theme yet again in this race where drivers just not quite been close enough to go for the moves and again race roller on 17 lap old intermediate holding on to what is p4 at the moment we've got yellow flags in the middle sets but again i don't think that's actually mm. for anything in particular I guess as well though, it just depends. Oh, we got um, yeah, there flags course. everywhere. But Yellows. I think I'm just gonna ignore that because there's no safety car coming out anyway. So I think that's just a pretty short glitch. Although, does this mm. mean no one's gonna be Someone able to take them off the race? Someone is apparently pit. Um, well, apparently. Um, this this is this is yeah. the other thing as well. Though obviously, Problems. it depends what everyone else is seeing because if everyone else has, you know. Summoners last and four laps down, then yeah, it's going to be a difficult one, I think, for, for anything to be done about that. Um, obviously, we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, at the moment it is uh, Kevin first, Summoner second, Bunny third, as it has been ever since the restart. And I've got my pins and needles in my foot, <laughs> just completely changing the topic, but yeah.
Um, jam, take over a second if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sylvan is... It's now on the Inters, so finally it's got it right. It's about 20 laps too late, but he's finally on the right side. He's closing in on Kevin. Unfortunately, though, I feel it could all be for nothing if we're the game to, to put yeah. him down all the way to the bottom, which I believe it will do. I really hope it doesn't, though. It would be a weird situation, I think, to have a driver win the race and be last and three laps down at the same time. Yeah. Um, as well as not featuring on the podium at the end. But, uh, well, well, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Everyone's you know, just he's really not in the lead at the moment anyway. Well, Harry. Down yeah, to I think nine. race roller... I don't think his pace is bad, but I think given that he's on those older tyres, it perhaps is just sort of causing the guys behind to sort of... Uh, Concertina up a little bit. Although, having said that, there is a little bit of a gap between Ranga and McEwen. So it's not like race rollers, you know, really slowing these guys up too much. Bunny, as he has been for pretty much the whole race, jam, just kind of in a world of his own, just, you know, minding his own business. As he was in the first stint, as he is now, as Rang has got the run on race roll up. Trying to go down the inside into the chicane, breaking very late, making contact with the Alfa Romeo, and again contact coming out of the corner with the Alfa Romeo quite aggressively there, swinging out to get in line for the next corner. I'm not sure if they're actually going to be able to overtake these yellow flags, which would be really disappointing because this could ruin our final lap of the race here. Didn't seem as though Ranga gave the position back per se. Race Roller no. defending the inside. Now Ranga having to go around the outside, but it's just not going to be enough. This is the last lap as well, Jam. It's kind of flown by since this second safety car's come in. Ranga again having a look, and that was just never going to oh, work. Oh, big crash, big crash. And he spun, and now there is a big, 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 big crash. Big he gone, Ranga um, gone, JH as well caught up in it. It was just never going to work, though. It, Went for a gap that just wasn't really there. Tried to hold it. Uh, well, tried to hold it. Tried to go for it on the inside. In time three. And I think that was just last lap opportunistic moves there. As Jib uh, Jib's got a penalty for the race. Yellow flag. Race Roller's now got... Uh, McEwen right behind him. I believe Jitto probably got... Uh, Jib Jab, sorry, got that. Because there were yellow flags after that incident. And he overtook someone... And for some reason, it, it just gave him a penalty. Um, <laughs> this is Zenon such well a crazy raid. Um, so, so, so then, um, coming across the line to win second race in a row is Kevin GT. Great drive from him after, a, well, fortuitous timing of the safety car, but he held the lead after that. Bunny comes home P2. Good drive from the Renault driver to come home second. It's race roller P3. McEwen fourth after that incident between uh, Race Roller and Ranga on the last lap. Tooman P5, but Ranga gets uh, fifth though in the end. Tooman sixth, Jib Jab seventh, JH is eighth, Liam is ninth, Czech tenth, Zenon eleventh, Riggsy unfortunately I think has lost out massively from this. He's P12. Then it is the two AI cars of Clock and Predators. They uh, should be 13th and 14th come the end of the race. Owen 15th, Kolka 16th, Jitto 17th, Monkey and Division 18th and 19th. They were all retired. And then it was Summoner's AI glitch car thing. Two laps down in 20th. Um, this is, of course, only provisional. Yeah, I'd say I be sure so. to look out for Twitter and what have you for the final results as all the cars are being weird and stopping and glitching I think, out. As I um, predicted though, Harry, yeah. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to come last to me. <laughs> which is really unfortunate because I think Owen was, uh, has said that he, he was in a party with him and Southerners was just driving like normal. But, I mean, it's he's, like he's, I he's, have, he's right? clearly not finished the race, has he, on, yeah. on, on, the, uh, on yeah. the stream or on the page, on the results page. So. Yeah, That's so I'm unfortunate, but it's just one of those things. The cars are glitching out. <laughs> 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 two by two, Noah's Ark. In oh my god, I've never seen this going before. About this is, 12 this is miles mad. an hour. Um, I don't suppose you can get the top three of Kevin, Bunny and Race Roller. I can try, yeah. Into the party. Kevin didn't speak last week, but he wrote us a message. So uh, right. if you could perhaps request a message from 
Kevin. Who is it? Kevin, Bunny, and Mace Roller. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um. I've got race all the added on it, as far as I can see. I should do, we got him in last week. <laughs> yeah, my, my, he's not here. I can't see him. No, he's, he's, <laughs> he's not on it. The co-coms hasn't added him. Or he hasn't added the co-coms on the two. Uh, I should do it for the race tags. So. Alright, well, um... We can get Bunny in as well. Yeah. Oh, didn't even realise the race hadn't finished. All right, um, we got the, we got the, we got the race finishing now. Check this out. Gets the in-game drive of the day. We didn't actually ask for a vote. So I think Bunny seemed like a popular use. vote. Uh, oh, Amiga did he? Oh, we for, had votes then. Amika going for Jitto, despite not finishing, which I think is fair enough, to be honest. Jitto just seemed to be extremely unlucky, through no fault of his own, as far as we're aware. But um, it looks yeah. like it's going to be Bunny at the moment, which I think is a, is a very solid shout as well. I believe his first full race of the season, or his, his first F1 race of the season. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Q3, second on the grid, I think it was, and P2 on track, so can't complain about that, I shouldn't think. Yeah, so it is Kevin... Oh, if you can win for Jitter second, as well. His second race in as many weeks. Following on from that performance at China with another win here in the Netherlands. Bunny comes home P2 and with the fastest lap, so 19 points for him to get his season up and running and it is race roll up P3 in the Alfa Romeo. Another podium for him as well in as many weeks. McEwen was P4, Ranga 5th after that collision on the last lap. Tuman was P6, Jib Jab 7th, JH was 8th, Liam comes home 9th um, despite being outside of the points right until the death. Czech is 10th, Zenon 11th, uh, Clock and Preds 12th, 13th, but neither of them were actually driving at the end. Rigsy was 14th. Then it was the retirements. Jitto, Owen, Kolka, Monkey Division, and then Southerners as well, who also apparently retired. So then we have got... Who have we got in the party? Is it Bunny Bolton, and yeah. Race Roller? Oh, we've got all of them. All right, um, so Bolton, guys, no, just remember Kevin, but, yeah. to tick your boxes. So if you go onto the party chat... It will say, um, you know, include audio. So just make sure that you've got that ticked. Uh, and then Jam, mate, take us, uh, take us through the interviews. Uh, yeah, we've not so got please. Kevin, but we'll just quickly say congratulations to him on, as you mentioned, second win in as many weeks. Great job from him. But we'll swiftly move on to Sue Bunny, who has joined us now. Um, yeah, as I, as I mentioned, I think it's looking like your strong vote for driver of the day. I think I'd probably probably give it to you as well. Um, second on the grid, second on on track in the race. It looked like you had really good pace in, in the wet as well, but unfortunately after that safety car just couldn't quite sort of get back up to to where you were challenging for the win. But either way, second place can't really complain. So how was it for you? Uh, yeah, thanks thanks for that. Um, I'm still not sure if I finished second or third because of the Southerners' car. To be honest, um, I know we're the fastest lap, but yeah, he. He jumped me in the pits, but I'm not sure if he was in second or I don't know what was happening with his car. Um, but yeah, no, I was behind Jitto in the dry, sort of keeping the pace. I was, he was pulling away from me a bit, and then when it started to turn to wet, and then the safety car closed it back in, but then obviously he had that. I, I have no clue what happened to him, but he was in a crash. And uh, then I thought I pretty much had the race from there on, so I was seconds ahead of the person behind me, but then yeah, the safety car sort of changed everything from there onwards, so. Yeah, I mean, either way, great, great start to your to your season, really. I guess it is uh, second place, eighteen, well, sorry, nineteen points in the back, of course, because you got fastest lap. So, yeah, well done to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's pretty good to be fair. Good points for Renault as well. And check this out: unlucky, like lag at the start, but to get a point after the race he had, I heard it's pretty rough. So, to get a point for him as well, well done. Yeah, I've got to admit, I'm pleased myself as well. Uh, Renault driver <laughs> getting points. 
um, yeah, we we don't really know um, about Summoners. It says he's DNF'd on here, but well, like I say, it's only provisional results. Um, but provisionally, we'll congratulate you on your P2. So, well done. thank you very much. And uh, I guess it's the same then for Race Roller, provisionally P P3 on uh, on track at the end. Uh, I shouldn't think that will be changing because I don't think we change glitches. But yeah, uh, it's either P3 or P4. So starting, I think it was 11th. That's a, that's a great result for you. Uh, just want to talk us through your race then as well, mate. Pretty much luck got me into third. Had a terrible qualifying, <laughs> obviously in 11th. And then got went my way up to 7th before the first safety car. And then I crashed under the first safety car. So I had to pit again to replace my front wing. And then safety then stayed about 14th and then the second safety car came out i decided to stay out take a gamble because i would have finished outside the points i would have thought if i pitted again and fortunately i was able to hold on obviously i had the big crash of anger on the last lap but i tried to leave him space but at the same time i don't know if i did and i haven't seen it back obviously so if I did not leave him space, then obviously I apologise to him, but yeah, other than that, I'm very happy with that. With the... Yeah, I, I I mean, admittedly myself, I didn't see it because I was, I was looking at other battles on track, but from what I've heard, it, it didn't seem like there was much fault on your side, but we won't get into that too much on the stream, but either way, it's either third or fourth foot provisionally, so... Yeah, great, great job to you. Uh, I think that's about it then, Harry. Uh, yeah, so um, I think that concludes what's been quite a hectic Dutch Grand Prix. Um, Kevin winning the race from Bunny and then Race Roller. So congratulations to the top three once again. Uh, be sure to join us tomorrow for Divisions 2 and 3 and Sunday for Elite. We will also be back next week with Spain. We've got all five divisions racing. That includes the F2. But that is all for tonight. So thank you for joining me, Jam. And uh, thank you for tuning in as well to the viewers.